Oh, hi. Um, they can inject me with heroin if it'll help. Some kind of shot for my hip. Actually, injecting yourself with heroin or having them inject them you with heroin. These healthcare professionals. Uh, I'm gonna end that prediction. Hang on. Why didn't that work? I don't know. I mean, don't know for sure. uh, having them inject you with heroin would actually help your issue. Um, because uh, you would be so knocked out that you wouldn't care. It would actually temporarily help, technically. There you are. Have you two been waiting for me? Yes. Uh, y yes. Me and I have been speaking. There's a really weird vibe here today. Why is it zoomed in? You want to go over to Gilbert's and talk about it? Oh, I'd love to come. Thank you for waiting. No problem. Let's get moving. It's already pretty chilly out. I'm the leader of the party. Why is it always me who ends up cleaning up the messes? It's a Glendower. You need some help? Help? No, thank you. It'll only take longer if you try to help. There's the rubble still here. No wonder. It must be pretty heavy. I bet Mr. Hydrick isn't happy about it. <laughs> what a bet, old fogey. Wait, so the problem's with your hip and not your leg? The downside of the crippling heroin addiction after? That's normal. Abandoning the party. Gone off on my own. Oh, hey guys. Hey, you three. Did I get you a coffee? Not for me, thanks. What about you two? You're more in the mood for a beer. And I'm afraid I've not been sleeping well the last few days. I think I need to give up caffeine. Oh, well, where's the shot? Come by again sometime. I have the best coffee in all Porcupine. Huh. I got some bruising on the femoral neck. Your neck isn't on your hip, silly. Almost a fracture, but not quite. Huh. Huh. You three? You're all soaked. Thank you, Giuliano. Oh, we need a drink, stat. It'd be my pleasure. Sit down and warm yourselves. You know we're soaked. Was it raining? There's a free table back there. We'll take that one. No problemo. Uh, what can I get you? I'd like something warm, something fruity, something strong, something down to earth, surprise. Chad, what do you think? Chad, what do you think? Something, uh, uh warm, fruity, strong. Down to earth or a uh, surprise? Hey, dude, how are you? Fruity? Fruity, it's Pride Month. Hi, dude, how are you doing? How's your stream? How's Wizard 101? Can someone shout out, dude, please? Uh, something fruity, please. I knew you'd need it. I knew you'd need something fruity today. Hey, shit, coming right up. I guess I was at home. I'll bring it over. Fruity. Mm, that's the stuff. How do you like your drink, Finley? Oh, it's great. That's what I like to hear. So, uh, what do you think? About today, I mean. You don't normally have general meetings like that. 
Only when it's something really important happens. Like when a person or a body part disappears. Or if someone loses the key to the medicine storeroom. Those are just made up examples, right? Anyway, um, it's an old building. It's fall off now and then. One year we had so much snow we thought the roof was going to cave in. What did you do? Nothing at all, at first. We were on call. If it had gotten worse, we'd have evacuated the hospital. There's a contingency plan for things like that. We'd have driven everyone over to the school gym hall. Why there? It's big, it's empty, plenty of power outlets, good access for ambulances. So why call a so why call a general meeting over a bit of rubble? The roof's still intact. This kind of thing happens in a storm sometimes. It's getting more and more common, especially in the recent years. Maybe we should go ask Dr. Theobald about it. Yeah, we could do that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alone in this plastic. That's your table. What are you doing here? I was about to ask the same thing, Ralph. Disrespectful, if you ask me. Yeah, you said it. I know you three goons. You work over at the hospital, right? Uh, you Curly's back again. So we're coming for the last old chat, hmm? What do you want? Hmm. We're an apology. An apology? Yeah, that's right. Like you had an accident a few weeks ago. Got hit by some stupid woman bus driver. I didn't have, if I didn't have such quick reflexes, I'd be stone dead by now. We're, so, we're sorry. Sounds like you got lucky. Could have been worse. Yeah, you like that, wouldn't you? Tell him, Patrick. Well, I didn't get away completely unscathed, of course. I had a deep wound on my arm. And it needed stitches. But instead of treating it properly, the hospital just stitched it up and sent me straight back home. Two days later, it was like it was on fire. You can't imagine the pain. I had to take antibiotics. I can still feel it now. Yeah, and it's your fault, you Bangladesh. Well, we're sorry, of course. But these things happen. We aren't the ones who treated you. We're... We're don't work in the surgery. Believe us, we do our best for every sick or injured person that comes to us. And so do the staff in the surgery. Complications can happen. Not ideal, but it's not a common either. <laughs> you hear that, Ralph? She admits it. It's your, your fault that you're chronically handicapped. What? But I... You're not listening right, Ralph. Oh, right, yeah. No, I'm the liar. You would say that. I'll tell you what. We should shut that place down. Throw all those idiots out. And tear the whole dump down. If you ain't all so lousy at your jobs, my wife wouldn't have been dead for the past five years. And now you're messing with my best friend, too. And I guess that's enough. You can uh, pocket all your insurance money as well. But we work our bust off day after day. What's up? Can't take a little criticism? You choke on your silver tongue? I know a good hospital for that. But it ain't in this town. <laughs> good one, Ralphie. I'm sorry. Hey, look. Look, Tiny Squad does talk after all. What you say? Say it again. It's real loud here, don't you think? I'm sorry about what happened to your wife, but these two didn't have anything to do with it. 
You know that. But what you don't know is how hard we try. Every day, every night. Sometimes we don't even get a chance to sleep. So come on. Let us enjoy one night out together, okay? Well, I accept your apology. But that still doesn't make up for the damage done to my friend. Let's see now. How about you pay for a tab for a year, hmm? I should cover it. You just won't let it go, will ya? Maybe I should give you a smack in the mouth. Wouldn't be the first time. Just try it, wise guy. Carl, don't. Don't be stupid. Oh, you must be the boss around here. Yet you like ordering folks around, huh? That's it. Time to crack some skulls. Do you have anything citrus? Eat some if you can. I'm not gonna lie, I read that like as I was like reading stuff. Like I looked over and I read that message and I thought I, I didn't read the entire message. All I read was citrus, but I didn't read it as citrus, I read it as clitoris. You're not letting him get away with that. Time to wipe that grin off Ralph's face. Each fighter can attack once per round. Choose an attack and let him have it. Keep an eye on your health points and magic points. What the fuck? Alright. Disinfect, punch, anesthesia. Huh. How do I get out of this menu? I can't. Okay, I guess I'm just stuck here. Alright, this is a completely different game now. There's only one enemy. Still stunned. Oh, there we go. I don't want to eat any clitoris, though. Mmm, roast beef. Clutch, be careful. Can you see my buddy's hurt? That's right, gravely injured, ouch. That was ridiculous. Just look at those two. There's nothing wrong with them. Look at me. Don't see me complaining, do ya? Alright, calm down. You mean to calm down? Did you hear that, the way the jerk was talking about us? I know, I'm angry too. We're only playing into his hand if we start a fight now. Yeah. Yeah. Hurry, Carl. Better? Better. Let's call it a night. Probably better if we go to bed. See you tomorrow? Yeah, sleep. Uh, yeah, sleep well. <laughs> Carl, you need to put some ice on that. Yeah, yeah. How many patients have you killed, Dr. Stinky? Um, first off, uh, my name is Dr. Rancid. Second off, uh, none so far. What a night. Can't wait to go to bed.
How you doing, Ace? We need a new plant. Wall the wall the pale face. Not had your breakfast yet? No, I, I can't eat a thing. Oh, touch of the old stomach trouble. You could say that. That's too bad. But a walk in the fresh air can cure most ills. That's what I always say. Are you cold? Oh no, I've been out and about today already. Turn myself to a little something to warm me up. This? Come on, man. You know I don't touch that stuff. I was at the mall, so some kind soul uh, bought me a nice big mug of tea. Candy sugar, even. Life don't get much better than that. What's candy sugar? New plants? What kind? Hey, Drew. Hey, Drew. What's up? What's up, champ? What's up, chief? What's up, bud? Pal? Deep, dark, tech. Why is he wearing headphones? Huh. Huh. Alright. Friendly. Uh, friendly, how go to? Hey, Frog. Back by the river again? Yeah, of course. I couldn't leave you hanging. Leave me hanging over what? Over this. This? Our river meditation. You been feeling the benefits yet? Yeah, absolutely. Take a few more deep breaths. Grab a thought from the stream of consciousness to help you flow through the day. Have you got one? Yep. Good. If you need more, we'll be here. River and I. Brock? Finley? Thank you. Nothing to thank me for, young Finley. What the fuck? I learned all that Frog has to teach me. That means the game... We might be nearing the end. I just got an achievement. What kind of kinky shit? Deep, dark, Pepsi. Ace missed all the lore. been building. Maybe Quack made a quote of it. Nah, I don't want to take the bus today. Oh, well there's a quote. Apparently I can't go that way. game one of these days maybe maybe deep dark peps the way I'm going in there right now Even just the thought of alcohol is making is enough to make my stomach churn not to mention what we put uh, Giuliano through. That won't be, that won't have been his first bar fight. I doubt it ever gets easier. Imagine opening a bar, or any, any kind of, like, establishment, any kind of building, you know, and 
you make your sign for your 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 building, like your 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 logo for your business, the Vitruvian Man. That's basically what what uh, uh, Giuliano did here. That's basically what this is. He just made his like logo the Vitruvian Man. Can't die. You're not streaming. How are things looking with the fountain? Do you think you'll be able to get it up and running by the hibernation festival tomorrow? Of course we will, kiddo. Kid. We'll get it back in and work in order. Maybe these old pipes really have seen better days. They need proper cleaning or replacing, ideally. Well, hey, that's not my problem. problem is it? Shouldn't push yourself, dude. I don't know why I had such bad hiccups today. Uh, did you know that if you, uh, drink a lot of water, it gets rid of the hiccups? It means you're growing. With every hiccup, you grow one millimeter. Money. Do you want to go inside? I'm getting soaked here. No, leave me alone, you scoundrel. I'm not going back in there. Hey, it's filled with murderous, backstabbing friends. All just out for money. Okay. Morning, kiddo. Hang on, wait. Mike was that always what? Always what? There it is. Good morning. Is it? I'm not too sure about that yet. I got a message for you. Doctor Theobald wants to see you in his office, and before your shift starts too. He didn't look too happy. What? Why? Uh, best let him tell you that himself. Good luck, kiddo. You best not keep Dr. Theobald waiting. You can find him in his office on the second floor. Okay. Why the sprinkling on in the rain? That's what I said last stream! I don't know why they be doing that. Is this not the second floor, even though it has a two right there? Is this is this the second floor? All right. Okay. Whatever. The door is locked. Looks like Mr. Hydric isn't in. Wasting water? Oh. I say, I say, there you are, Finley. Mia, Carl, thank you for coming. We have a lot to do, so I'll get it right to the point. We've heard about what happened last night, I say, I say. Carl's only defending himself. It was a personal matter. Unfortunately, we don't quite see it that way. Personal matters can have an impact on your job. But Theobald, you weren't there. I'm not gonna be the fall guy just because this place is coming apart at the seams. That's enough. I've already spoken to Dr. Krakowski and Dr. Hydrick. I don't like to do this, but under the current circumstances, we need to show that such actions come with, I say, I say, consequences. Carl, you are on leave until further notice. Sorry, what? 
little distance ought to do you some good. What? Now for you, me and Finley, I'm also issuing you a warning. This will be recorded into your files. Excuse me? What? I expected better, you two. This was on the very same day we had expressed their question that the situation not be allowed to get out of hand. Let this be a lesson for the future, and all of and for all of us. Please understand, I don't think this any more. I don't like this more than any of you do. But as chief physician, I am liable for any instance involving my staff. And when one or more people misbehave, flex poorly on all of us. Now please, get back to work. I hope you have a successful day. Dr. Theobald, I... Please, Finley. I don't like doing this. You have to believe me. Please get to work now. You'll have to do without Carl for a while. All the impo- all more, all more important for you that you do fucking beat him. <laughs> this is a blow blow over. I promise. This is so unfair. Carlite. It's okay, kid. It was a dumbass thing to do. I know that. Maybe a short vacation will do me some good. Give me a chance to calm down. Think about a few things. I'm sorry you guys got dragged into it. I don't think you did anything wrong. Sometimes that ain't the point. I'm gonna head out. Maybe I'll go out for a nice leisurely breakfast. I haven't done that in years. Uh, do me a favor? Sure, what do you need? Keep an eye on our ward, will ya? You don't have enough staff as it is. I'm sorry I'm making your workload even worse. It'll be fine. You have plenty of rest and sleep. Then you'll be on, in top shape when you come back. You got it! I'll check in with you later. I look forward to it. BRB while I do your mom. There's so many things that I could say, but I'm choosing not to. Isn't it Dr. Krakowski here? Sure she is. She's pretty much always here. She's in the break room. Dr. Krakowski's keeping her head down more than usual right now. Must have a lot on her mind. Thank you. I'll go and see her and then start my shift. Yeah, you do that. Where have you guys been anyway? I've been rushed off on my feet all... I've been rushed off my feet all morning. Yeah, I called in a Dr. Theobald's office. Looks like we'll have to do without Carl for a while. I have to do what now? He's been fired? No, no. He's just not going to be in for a few days. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, yep, exactly what I needed right now. Guess I'd uh, better stop wasting my time with you then. Back to work I go. Okay, see you later. Cat, do y'all remember... Like, back in school, maybe some of you experienced it after... Where you would be like, you'd be talking to a friend and you'd be like, all right, later. And then you would both walk the same way, you know? Because your class is in the same direction. Dr. Kowski, you don't believe what Dr. Theobald said. Um, you mean about Carl being put on leave? Yeah? How did you know? I assumed that was how the conversation would conclude. The issue was raised in the organizational meeting this morning. I was also told about the incident at Gilbert's. It was clear that the incident could not pass without consequences. Not these days. Dr. Kowski, if I, if I can just explain... There's no need to explain anything. You know exactly how I feel about it. You also know how imprudent your behavior was given our current situation. Understand your feelings. 
Believe me, everyone here does. The frustration, the short fuse, the thin skin, it's all very understandable. Nevertheless, I support Dr. Theobald's decision. This is not the time to indulge in such provocations. Carl is a good nurse. The best we have, I would say. This makes it all the more important that we compensate for his absence. Focus and do the work. I... Chad, what do you think? I will try my best. Can't accept the decision. I'm afraid we won't be able to do it. What do you think? What are you thinking? I dislike that that padding emote is the lid. Three, or maybe one, or maybe two. can't accept the decision. Well, I have bad news for you then. Can't do anything to change it. Being rebellious will do neither yourself nor the ward any favors. I'm asking not just as your supervisor, but also from one doctor to another. Don't let your frustrations affect your patience. Have a good shift, Finley. Gotta communicate. How you doing, Motoroto? Who the fuck is that? You got a bat patient now? How you feeling? Not great. I got a stomachache. And I'm nervous. Maybe I should have intervened yesterday. Should I have said something? You were way more sensible than us. You didn't do anything wrong. Mm. I'm gonna really put everything into this. We'll get through it together. Ah, there you are, finally. I need to make an urgent phone call. I was meant to be meeting a client four minutes ago. If I make them wait any longer, there will be serious consequences for me. Clearly, I don't have time to be here at all right now. First of all, good morning to you. You're Miss Van Van Galan. Ga Galen. Ga Ga Galen. Gale, you're you're Miss Van Galen, right? Sonia, Sonia Van Galen. That's right. And you came to us yesterday with some symptoms. Would you like to take a moment to explain again how you're feeling? Dizziness, heart palpitations, headaches, the sensation of swimming in a deep black sea but never reaching the shore. Same as usual, basically. I'm sure you're familiar with the condition. Same as usual. Well, no, more or less. The sensation has been intensified over the past few days. Sharp chest pains. Moments when I didn't quite know where I was or whether, whether I was awake. A colleague advised me to get it checked out after I fainted twice yesterday. Do you have any pills that you can give me? I don't think there's a problem we can solve with a few pills. Let me take a closer look at what's going on. All right, but please don't take too long. Ah. Oh, shit. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer. Fuck! No! 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 Well, you 
heart rate is incredibly high. To start with, you need some rest. All right, I guess I can take an hour for my lunch for the cold. Can you give me the pills right now, or do I need to go to the pharmacy? You should stay here for today, for observation. Sorry, I'm a little distracted right now. What did you just say? You need to stay here for the time being. We're gonna give you some medication and monitor you for, for now. Please take the medicine three times a day at meal times. That means today at noon, tonight, and to be safe side, tomorrow morning. That could be tricky. I don't eat in the morning. And you should make an exception tomorrow. All right. So what was that? Twice a day, right? Three times. I'm sorry. I don't know what's wrong with me. I never used to struggle with numbers. But right now, I can't even remember my phone number. But I'll set a reminder in my phone for the pills. There's no need for that. We'll do it for you. But you need to avoid stress, okay? Try and switch off. Don't make any phone calls. And do not work. I'll try. He's been waiting a long time. The goose? I stood up and my chest hurt again? Maybe you should lay down. to poo stop eating the poo hey you two how are things um i'm doing great doc i can't wait to get out of here yeah i'm not leaving without ollie hey get that ready Just keep a little distance okay ollie still needs to rest Real thing doc how are you doing ollie not bad. I even managed to sleep a few hours last night. And I'll leave today? I want to go home with my brother. Slow down, Ollie. Let me check your readings first, okay? Yeah, okay. That deer's booty is out. Mine too. Is Ollie healthy again? Not quite. Oh. You got your bacteria under control now. You should be feeling better again soon. You. Really? Yes! Allinator! Coming back in the second round to beat the Shigella on points! Yeah, good work, Ollie. Uh, Rudy, you'd better go home now. Give your brother another day of rest. Sure thing. No problem at all. Did you hear that, Ollie? Soon we can go out and have fun again. Yeah. I need to, uh, I need to finish my rounds. Uh, see you later, you two. You betcha, Doc. Sure, Doc. I'm gonna stay here for a little long, a little while. Of course, take your time. The better question is, why don't you have your booty out, Ace? Hello? Um... Greetings, hardworking fellow citizen. Hello, uh, greetings, hardworking fellow citizen. Hi, Carl. <laughs> I want to see how things are going. I just can't keep away from you guys. Everything's okay so far. Everyone's a little tense. I'm also in the middle of my rounds right now. Let's catch up properly in the time, okay? It's a fabulous idea. I was sitting here drinking a nice hot coffee, and when I got the urge to go out and do something, I could use your help. If you have the time to meet me at the supermarket after, uh, after work. At the supermarket? Yep. I'll explain anything when you're here. I'll hang up now. Uh, two. Busy, busy. You know how it is. Uh-huh. 
Not booty out time. I think it's the perfect booty out time, okay? Hello, Irma. How... gonna snow soon and just in time for the hibernation festival you think so no i ain't no so i can feel it in my bones my limbs always start tingling like this when the snow's on its way that's how i know it's the first day of winter i'm sorry i'm feeling a little wistful today my lovely roommate was discharged this morning I suppose that made me a little lonely. How you doing, Finney? Same as always. Is something bothering you, my dear? Oh, you know, just everyday life. Hmm, I see. I could tell you a short story to cheer you up. Why don't you start by telling me how you're feeling today? Oh, that can wait. You have a few minutes to spare for an old lady. I'm all yours. Would you like to make yourself some tea first? In this weather, it's important to take time to get cozy. Thanks, but I'm okay. Being my rants has warmed me up. All right. Now, where to begin? Before little Juliana was born, I used to travel a lot. When I was young, I was doing an apprenticeship and renting a small room in the sandalwood. On one beautiful spring morning, I was strolling through this lovely little flea market. And I found a beautiful old globe there. I bought it right away. I placed it in my room and decided right there and then. I was going to visit somewhere on that globe in real life. So, without further ado, I started making plans and pack some clothes. And a little something to munch on, of course. And Chavit Jr. to record the night journey. And last but not least, my three lucky die. I didn't have much money at the time, so sticking to the bare necessities suited me. One cool spring morning, I set out. And after I crossed the first couple of borders, my stomach was growling fierce. Yeah, I had no money left, of course, but I did have my lucky dice with me. And so I walked into a fancy restaurant, when they served the finest food in the country had to offer, and I challenged the owner to a bet. If I rolled a higher number than she did, my meal would be on the house. I lost. I spent the whole next year working in her kitchen, scubbing my fingers to the bone. And I should promise her one of my lucky dimes. And after a year I work, I managed to work my way up to co-manager of the restaurant. My journey wasn't over yet. I had just more than enough of my restaurant business by then, so I continued on my way. I didn't need money. I relied on my intuition and my two lucky dimes. It was the dead of winter. And my shoes weren't as waterproof as they used to be. And so I called a cab. I challenged a cab driver to a bet. If I wrote the same number as he did, he would give me a free ride. Wherever I wanted to go and however long I wanted to go there for, I rolled the dice. Ah, ball. And that's how I met my next boss. His name was Gilbert. Godfrey? I spent two years driving people around the country. Didn't get the chance to get out of the car much myself, though. But I still had a lovely time, and Gilbert and I got on like a house on fire. And after two years, closed the cab company and hit the road together. And I kept the second lucky dice hanging around the rearview mirror of my cab the whole time. We traveled wide and far, till one day, we pulled up in a dreamy little town on Porcupine. It was my birthday, so we headed to the ta old tavern to celebrate. And we had a great time staying up almost until sunrise. The owner of the tavern was an elder gentleman 
and soon we got to talk with him. I challenged him to a bet. We rolled the same number three times on our lucky dice. Then he will let us have the old tavern. But on the third roll, disaster struck, and the die fell off the table. Gibble went to pick it up and then slammed his, uh, the back of his head into the life fitting as he got back up. He spent several weeks at St. Ursula's. The hospital was still pretty new back then, you know. When he was uh, healthy again, he took my hand. When we looked at each other, they had the same thought in both our minds. He wanted to stay here. I did a foot fine. Forever. We scraped together our savings. We were tired. And three years later, we had enough of money to buy the small tavern. Anyway, that's how the story ends. You shouldn't always rely on your luck. But it doesn't hurt to give it a shot. At least not most of the time. You seen so much of the world, Irma. And I did my best. As it turned out, my favorite place wasn't that far away. How about you? What about me? Where's your favorite place? I don't know yet. It's all right. You'll figure it out eventually. You still got some work to do. Unless I'm mistaken. Sorry? Uh, yeah, actually. Chat, what do you think of this game? Hmm. Bone was right, and I got one other right in a good in a in a position. Hang on, I need music. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get it right. I'm gonna keep the brain. You don't even know sports? So? I didn't pick it. Three of these are right. So all three of these are right. Oh, why did I do the brain in the same spot? That's dumb. There you go. Hi, CB. How are you? I keep looking at Irma and going, hmm, monkey. Doing art? Hell yeah. Your fever's gone down a bit, but some of the symptoms are more severe than they were a few days ago. Should I be worried? We'll manage it. I'm going to talk to the senior physician. Thank you. I guess I'm going to be missing the hibernation festival this year. I'm sorry, Irma. I, ho I was hoping we'd have you back on your feet by then, but this inflammation's proving stubborn. It's okay. I've seen plenty of hibernation festivals in my life. One more or less won't make a difference. You'll be going through, I hope. Yeah, I have a night shift tomorrow. I'll check out the festival beforehand. That's good. Do you fish hibernation festival? Mm-hmm. Wow. I hope you can enjoy it to its fullest. Maybe I'd be his so bold as to ask a favor of you? Of course. My son, Juliano, is always so busy on the day of the festival. I was wondering if you could bring me a hazelnut candle. Bookie Bunch Happination Festival is the only place you can get them. And you'd be making an old lady very happy. If I find one, I'll be sure to pick it up for you. I promise. Thank you very much. I'm tired and you must have a lot to do. Have fun tomorrow, Finley. I'll see you afterward. You get some rest, Irma. I don't have any fruit. 
I've been drinking only water. How do you not have any fruit? I'm sorry this is, uh, I'm sorry this is to put more work on your plate, too. Don't worry about it, Finley. At least I'm getting my steps in. We'll get to it. I mean, no fruit is so sad. How do you have no fruit? I've been eating a buttload of oranges. My poop agrees. How did it go today? Not bad. It's been very quiet, luckily. Hmm. Would be because of the hibernation festival. How do you mean? The hibernation festival is tomorrow. You know that, right? What does that have to do with the word? I can't explain it exactly, but the Hibernation Festival is important to the people of Porcupine. It reassures them, gives them strength. Some see it as the most important day of the year, and every year you can see it in the conditions of our patients. This time of year they seem somehow less sick. Hmm, must be a really important festival. I've already heard uh, so much about it from everyone. Hmm, you're on the night shift tomorrow. Go and check it out. You might like it. I'll stop by before work. Are you going to? Hmm, no. I'm afraid I don't have the time. Also, I don't want to. Just do me a favor and don't get any trouble. Don't get any trouble. Ka! Ka! I'm a pigeon, so it's more like coo. Thank you very much. Or at least I'm gonna fucking do a coup against this fucking hospital if they don't hire back Carl. Um, I can see you're not letting the situation distract you too much. Keep it up. I know you can still improve further. Happy Hibernation Festival for tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow evening. Tomorrow evening? That's right. I'll be on the night shift too. Get some rest and make sure you're nice and fresh. Is there anything else you need today? Are you going to replace Carl? Can you check on Irma? Can you check on Irma is way more important. Can you check on Irma? You mean Mr. Kalma. I'm keeping an eye on her readings, and I'm going to check on her again later. Have a good evening, and do try to avoid any major accidents. I am sure you'll find plenty opportunity between now and tomorrow night. Wait, they fired Carl? I missed so much. We got in a fight at the bar. And because it was on the same day as the uh, the big collapse in front of the the hospital, the storm, um, they blamed it. They like basically pushed the blame, or rather, I guess, narrative against Carl, um, being like, "Oh, how dare you cause drama on the same day that we told you to not cause drama?" Uh, so they put him on leave. Uh, permanent leave until further notice. So he's not fired. He's going to come back. Uh, but it's leave without... Uh, leave until further notice kind of thing. We're about to go meet up with him right now. Have a great evening. You too. Staying much longer today? Mm, a little while, yeah. Well, I hope you can wrap up soon. See you at the Hibernation Festival tomorrow? Mm, I couldn't imagine anything more beautiful. Truly. Hang on, hang on. I need the other voice. I keep fucking losing it. So I can, um... Always watching. Truly. It would be a dream come true. But looking at this shift rotate... I guess you'll have to manage without me. Too bad. I hope you have a good day, too. Anyway. You too, kiddo. Dang it. I was hoping I'd see her stand up. I've only ever seen half her body. Uh... Brady, what are you doing down here? I'm waiting on my ride. But, uh, I wanted to get a snack for Ollie before I go. He said he wanted something chocolatey. But the candy in the vending machine looks really gross. Tell me about it. There's a good chance it'll just eat your money without giving you any food, too. Really? What a ripoff. Where can I get something sweet now? They got the second floor. That's where the executive floor is. They have their own snack vending machine there. With only the sweetest, most chocolatey delights. Whoa, really? I've got to see that. Thanks for the tip, Doc. 
I wonder if I didn't look at the vending machine, if I wouldn't have had that option. Hey, Finley. Rough day, huh? You can say that again. Um. Uh, Want to come over and cook with me tonight? I think. Maybe I'll feel better when I have something in my stomach. Sorry, I already said it. I already said I'd meet up with Carl. Okay, maybe no time. Take care, Finley. I'm thinking of time. having one single hair on this side go directly into my mouth. It's very fun. It's very nice. I love it. That was great. I felt so many emotions. What'd you do? Your mom? Oh yeah, I forgot you said that. Really, it was more like, uh, it would be more like my mom doing you, uh, since you can't stand. Or, like, really move in any drastic way. You just kind of lay there like a limp noodle. So. But I hope she had fun. You're like a, you're like a wet croissant right now. I got two arms, do you? Got your arms! <laughs> you don't need two legs to do it? All you need is feet. <laughs> Yoink! The one thing this game definitely needs more of is music. It's so quiet. I think the supermarket's down here. More bears? I don't know about that. There's been quite a few. Oh, that's not the supermarket? Oh, I don't know where it is. Can I stop by, uh, what's her fucks and get a new plant? I love big gay men. Alright. <laughs> no? No, I can't? You're just standing there? Okay. No, you can't say I didn't try. Where the fuck is the supermarket? Is this it? There's something here about how the hibernation festival. Tomorrow is the annual hibernation festival. This is one of the whole community's favorite nights of the year. Adele von Winter, Winter, Winterstein, uh, Porcupine's oldest citizen, will open the festival for the ninth time. Once again, the colorful culinary stew contest will be one of the highlights of the evening. In keeping with tradition, extra hot water will be fed into the pipes of the town fountain for this purpose. This water carries Porcupine's history with it. And adds a special flavor to the stews. I'm not sure about that. Um, oh, there's something here about Gilbert's too. Last night, a brawl broke out at Porcupine's local bar. Minor injuries were treated on the scene. The noise awoke several local residents. How embarrassing. At least there's no photo. That would be the icing on the cake. Hello? Oh, there you are. Nice hat. Carl! I didn't recognize you at first. What's with the hat? Shh! Not so loud! I'm incognito. 
Oh, okay. Why? Supermarket's new stock comes in tomorrow morning. So, what does that mean? You're just in time. What? I didn't realize things were that bad. I can lend you money, you know. Save it for charity. There's so much stuff in this dumpster that can just that, that that's just been thrown away. Is that legal? Yes. I see. Don't be so squeamish. You wanted to help, didn't you? If an animal can get in it, then you can legally. Legally. If an animal can get in the trash, if just any random animal has access to the trash and can get into it, then legally, you are allowed to loot the dumpster. That's how that works. Don't be so squeamish. You wanted to help, didn't you? Yeah, but, like, I'm not getting into the dumpster. This is my only good jacket. Don't worry. You don't have to get your hands dirty. I just need you to distract people while I go dig out the good stuff. And seeing as you mentioned the hat, I brought one for you, too. We're a team, after all. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. Are you serious? What? It looks awesome. Besides, you need to draw the attention away from me. And how do I do that? I mean, how should I know? You're full of hidden talents, aren't you? Just jump around in front of people. That should do the trick. Oh. Oh, man. We all know you're a natural entertainer. Distract people from what Carl's up to by dancing in front of them. Each person will show you what dance they want to see. Uh, and uh, press and hold the button for the right dance to make the person happy. Some people, so I'm literally, I'm just, okay, let's go, lap dancing, let's go. I'm going. I'm dancing. But I'm so dance, oh, I just, I, oh, I fucked it. Oh, that wasn't the right dance. I danced wrong. I danced wrong. Oh, hang on. We, we don't have any. Here, here. Oh, yeah, that's the wrong one. They, they look so similar. Why does the same dude just keep coming back? What the fuck is wrong with you? It's the same one. It's this. There's, oh, my God. There's multiple of them. Who has discovered his hidden I pressed talent the button. being a professional distraction? I was pressing the button. Look at me, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Uh. Uh. I could have did more with the dancing animations. This one is literally just stand there. Oh, is that the wrong one? My bad. a bust. This stuff isn't good, but it's better than nothing. So now you're gonna eat. So now you're going to eat all that? Finley. This isn't for me. I got two orders for tonight. One's on the high street. The other's over by the old tunnel. Your neck of the woods, more or less. Now let's get them delivered quickly. It's pretty frosty out here. What about the hat? What about it? Can I take it off now? No, we're not done. That's your delivery hat. You need it so people recognize us. All right.
How did you even fail? The images were exactly the same, and when I press it a button, they just barely fucking move. They look exactly the same. Hey, Finley. Hey, Finley, look at this huge splash of paint. What do you think happened here? I, uh... I think I could take a guess. Hey, it almost looks like a person, right? Kind of familiar, actually. Am I meant to be delivering these groceries? Yeah, yeah, all right. Sure, I take a minute to appreciate this expression of artistic inspiration. You like this banger? Why can't they keep going? Hello? Am I was I supposed to go the other way? I don't... Okay. Hey, Ruben, glad I ran into you. Oh, hey, Ruben, glad I ran into you. Why are you still outside? It's starting to get colder. Leave me alone, you big lug. What are you two loading around here for? And what we did ridiculous disguises. I've been wondering the same thing. Hey, is that any way to greet young motivated delivery guys? Bleh. I got a bag of food for you. You can keep it. I need your grub. Come on, old geezer. I, I know you could use it. You need healthy food and lots of it. Winter's coming. And your immune system isn't what it used to be. So here, have this food from the trash can. There's even a pack of prunes. Hey, I know how much you love those. Hey, right, give it here. There we go, bon appetit. I'll try to bring you some more next week, okay? Yeah, yeah. Let's keep moving. We got one more order. Can I, can I leave through this way now? Okay, cool. Okay, what's your opinion on prunes? You sour? Yeah, I've never been a fan. What do prunes have to do with raisins? <laughs> I tried uh, some fig newtons recently, which are figs, which I think are also prunes. I think that's the same thing. I, I tried those like semi-recently, last couple years, uh, and they were fucking heinous, and I don't understand how anybody eats them. Alfio, my good man! My delivery helper and I have got something for you. Love figs? I, just, I, I don't know about figs, but fig noons at least. Nasty. Thanks, guys. Really nice of you. You know, there's uh, not quite as much as last time. Sorry, Alfio. We got a little trouble getting the hands on the food. It's okay. I'll just have to ration it a bit. I should probably throw away the moldy tangerine, though. Thanks again. I hope I'm still on the list for the next delivery. Sure, buddy. And we'll give you some real good stuff again, I promise. Remember that you need to go back to the hospital, okay? Oh, ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm as fit as a fiddle. I know about your leg, Alfio. Please promise me that you'll get yourself checked up. Will you stop bringing me food if I don't? Of course not. It's all yours. Just think about it, okay? Okay. All right, buddy. You take care of yourself, okay? Finley? Hmm? We're done for the day. Off to bed. Good job. Take care, Alfie. I'll see you around. Sleep tight, you two. Who well, hats, by the way? Eh.
Well, you can have all my figs, Quack. Cause that shit nasty. I just poop. What the hell was that? Oh, it's my footstep on this thing. It sounded like a toot. Alfie was right. What do you mean? Did we look good in the hats? I told you so. You just have a hat face. No, about you. You're a really good guy. Ah, get out of here. I only help out when someone can't afford a crumb to eat. Not a big deal. All well, the same, uh, I kind of enjoyed it, too. That's great! Yeah, I'd say you still need a little bit more practice yet. You ever thought about, uh, dance school? Not until now, but maybe I will. I'm heading off. I want to be fresh for tomorrow. I'm really looking forward to it. A hibernation festival? A hibernation festival. See you there! I'm hoping? Of course. I'm not gonna miss my first hibernation festival. I'm on night shift, though, so I can't stay that long. No worries. We'll make the best of it. See you tomorrow! You make a great delivery assistant, Finley. You should definitely do this again sometime. Sleep tight! You don't have to lie to me like that. Oh, what a good opportunity for... Whoop, I just pressed the wrong button. I'm black and white now. What a good opportunity for... God damn it, I pressed the wrong button again. <laughs> a pee break! Uh, it wouldn't let me do two ad... Oh, hang on. I can do this. Hang on, I can snooze it. We can get a little bit more time, but I can do the two ads that I usually do. Uh, I'll just snooze it. Okay. Wow, I haven't slept like that in ages. Uh, I guess my body needed it. No crazy dreams, no thunderstorms, just sleep. Huh? Oh, it's the hat. Sheesh. Finley! Oh! Happy Hibernation Festival! Thank you. Same to you. Oh man, I'm already super excited. I'm way behind my preparations too. Did I hear you? Yes. Things have been really intense this year. What did you have to do? Nobody, shut up. Okay. Fucking Siri over here, Jesus Christ. Um, what do you think? I'm responsible for all the exquisite decorations, of course. Hi, Dumpling, how are you? You'll, no, you'll love it. They're so beautiful. I was just in the neighborhood, so I thought I'd pick you up. There's something else I want to show you. Then we can head to the town square together. Sounds good. Yes! I can't wait. Good morning, my friend. Good mood? Oh, good mood, my friend. Good mood? The best. Oh, sorry, I, I, I didn't realize what was happening. The best. Thanks to you guys, I have a nice full belly. And I'm thankful for this day. Are you going to the hibernation festival later? I don't think so, thank you. Not in the mood? It's got nothing to do with it. I just don't like crowds. Hmm, okay. Well, no pressure. I just look forward to seeing you if you change your mind. Well, maybe I'll sleep on it again. I had alcohols and now I got a headache? Usually you get the headache the next day. Usually it's not the same day as the, as the alcohol. But...
I hate exercise, me too. Me too. Hey, frog. How you feeling? How are things? Getting by, you? Getting by. Susie brought me a letter earlier with the day's mail. My sister isn't doing too well. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's having finance trouble, so she has to move in with me for a while. Unfortunately, I live in a one-bedroom mobile home over in Sandalwood. Even more unfortunately is she's the most annoying person I know. <clears throat> Have you applied to her yet? Yeah. She's on the train right now. She'll be here in three hours. Oh, so you're taking her in after all? I want to be the frock who helps her sister out when she's in need. Even if we do fight. If two twigs st uh, stick together, they'll have a better chance of holding out against the current. Right. True stream of consciousness thought. Not bad, young Finley. Right? Not bad at all. Not wrong either. And if things get too stressful, I can just move all my things over to the riverside. <laughs> Took me a second to process what was happening in chat. Has it been getting any better, Croissant? about the same. She has said nothing to me the, since the moment that we left home. Like, am I supposed to be going so I'm, I'm guessing I'm going down here. I, I don't know that. I'm not limping as much? That's good. Oh, that keeps happening. I'm sure it'll feel much better after they give you the heroin. I mean a shot of medicine. Good doctor. Good to see that you took that hideous hat off. You look ridiculous. Oh dear, oh dear. Is everything okay? Yes, no, I'm nervous. What's going on? Chloe's competing in the stew contest today. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, right? I keep my fingers crossed for her. Yes, yes, a good thing. Cross your fingers, take the paper off the roll, check the caps on the pens, lock the register, turn off the lights. I, uh, I think I've thought of everything. Is everything okay? Yes, I think so. Today's an important day for Chloe. She's going to be defending her title in the stew contest. Everything needs to be perfect. I'm looking forward to tasting her recipe. See you there. Okay. <laughs> it wouldn't let me. Ta da! It wouldn't let me move. So there's more dialogue, but then there wasn't. What do you think? I made this just for today. Wow, you're really. You, wow, you. Really didn't clean up that paint I spilled. Of course I didn't. Look at how beautiful it is. What do you think of your masterpiece? My masterpiece? You're the one who painted it. Yes, but your contribution was essential to the whole. That makes it a collaborative work of art. You could even call it performance art. That mean I get a share of the proceeds? No. Let me guess you ate the new deals another time. And I mean, it's not like I can just sell this artwork to a collector. Because you're emotionally attached to it? Because this nice store is physically attached to it. Oh. Right. Anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. While you're here, why don't you come to my store with me for a minute? I've got another surprise for you. I don't know. Clean up party! Clean up party? The second surprise? Yeah, he. <laughs> Just look at my store. I was up all night putting the decorations together. And I was thinking, you're such a nice person. 
Maybe you could help me tidy everything up? That way, we'll get to the hibernation festival in no time. All right. Yay! Your job, my super kind friend, is gonna be to clean the floor. Let's go! Oh boy. How's it looking? I'm done. Superly duperly fast as lightning, Finno. Right, just like Doggo with the pool. Ready to head out then? I was ready the moment I walked in. Yay! There's a town square, the hibernation festival! Ask for a new plant, Finley. I just walk through that? Alright. It makes you clean their mess. It's called a friendship. <laughs> Let's take the other route. It's way faster. I'm starting to worry we'll miss the start of the festival. Okay. I'll, just, I'll, I'll do this. Same thing. All right. Look, see the trees back there? Seem familiar? That's Glow Milk Woods! So it is. I'd recognize them anywhere after our last trip. Yeah, I know what you mean. The woods are special. I don't have to do anything? That's what you think. Is that what they say? Not yet. But I'm telling you maybe a thing. They're agreeing for the Hyrule Nation Festival. Pretty festive, right? Well, look who it is. Now this is an alpaca. You've got the day off too, then. Not quite. Night shift. Okay, well, it's still cool that you stopped by. I hope that decision uh, doesn't come back to haunt me tomorrow. I guess that decision that depends on what else you've planned for today. Haven't I seen you before? You work at St. Ursula's too, right? That's right. Internal medicine, third floor. I'm Elisa, surgeon, <coughs> second floor. Pleased to meet you. No work today? Not until tonight. Night shift. What? Didn't we already talk about this? Are things going in surgery? Oh, you know. Same old, same old. Old Linwood spends all day acting like a big shot. Maybe I was talking to the crow at first? I don't know. Acting like a big shot without ever actually lifting a finger to help. <coughs> Vinny and Rene keep the whole place running. Who's on shift for you today? I think Dr. Linwood and Benjamin. Maybe you'll have time to drop by later. If you do, say hi to Benny for me. For now, I'm going to treat myself to a tall mug of nougat punch. It's great to be able to take a breather for once. Enjoy your night, enjoy your evening, uh, and happy hibernation festival. You too. Safe journey. Yeah, don't do that, Quack. Maybe celebrating peace, great. Yeah, can't you see we're celebrating here? That's right, celebrating. Ralph, pull yourself together. Happy hibernation, you old grouch. Mm hmm. Yeah, what the heck? Happy hibernation festival, great. You too, Pena. Yeah, you too. Have a good one. Still bother you. Mr. Hijack, I wasn't expecting to see you here. But of course! I never miss a hibernation festival. It's a time when the community comes together. And the economy is stimulated. A fantastic day. And there's also a small matter of my participation in the stew contest, of course. You like to cook? Cooking relaxes. Cooking satisfies. Cooking has purpose, meaning... That's great. Uh, I'll be cheering for you too, of course. Even though Mia's my favorite. Oh, naturally. Team loyalty is essential. And in the end, it's the stew that wins, not the support. I look forward to an invigorating competition. Good luck! 
Thank you, thank you. And a joyful hibernation festival to you. You too. Tomorrow we work hard. Today we celebrate. Hello, Gray. Hello, Gray Flower. Gray what? Oh, nothing. What? Carl, how's it going? Never better. You know they've got hot cocoa with brandy here? Well, okay. How about everything else? I feel better than ever. And I finally have time to think about important things in life. Like hot cocoa with brandy. Uh, I even slept in late today. Man, I needed that. I'm not, even, I'm not leaving here until all the stalls run out of food and all the kegs are drained. Did you know Mia's taking part in the stew contest today? Really? No kidding. No kidding. Our Mia is going to be a champion stew maker this year. Old, Col old Car Colbert might as well pack up her gruel and head home right now. Yeah. It's cause for another drink. I need to line my stomach with alcohol before I start scarfing down Mia's stew after all. Isn't it the other way around? Hey, what do I know? I'm not a doctor. True. You're way more competent than any doctor I know. I wish I didn't have night shift tonight. Whoa there, don't get frowny, Finno face. My Finno Fano Finley friend. Yeah, you and me. We're celebrating today. Yeah. I feel great. Hey, uh, have you seen Juliano around? No, not yet. He wanted to serve his extra foamy craft beer today. I'm gonna go find the old scoundrel. I'm getting thirsty. See you later, Radiator. Hey, Giuliano! How about his fucking beer? And he's gone. Whoa, that nougat punch smells good. I think I'll have a mug of it. Maybe even two. How you feeling? Are you ready? Mia? Hello? You want home? Two tablespoons of truffle powder. Was it twelve? Finley, uh, was it two or twelve? You have to tell me. I don't remember anymore. I feel sick. Calm down. Take a deep breath. Okay. Okay. Are you okay now? I think so. How many spoons of truffle powder go into the stew? No. No truffle in the stew at all. That's bad. You can do this, Mia. You had a great job. You've done a great job with everything so far. I've been looking forward to sampling your stew all all evening. You're gonna win. I know it. You really think so? You bet. It's gonna be amazing. If I can help you in any way, just say. I'll be right here. Watching you cook. Everyone else off the stage. Yeah, we got this. Thank you. I feel a little better all day. Maybe I'll have another swig of my drink first. Whatever works. Just relax, I'll be right back. You know, I better uh, go over the recipe just one more time. I need to find uh, a candle right here. Hello. I hope you're enjoying the festivi festivities. Can I interest you in a handmade fall tree trowels? We still have a few castanets, too. How about a traditional hazelnut candle? I'm afraid I still need a moment to get things ready. Why don't you come back later? I, I'll be ready after the stew contest. All right, well, that answers my question. Look at her go. She's going. History, but there, yeah, which we brought ourselves. Yeah, you know, I can already feel my dance, your feet starting to itch. Tonight's gonna be a big one. You youngsters, just wait and see. Whoa, I can feel it. It's like I'm 20 again. Yeah, let's dance ourselves hungry. <laughs> I 
imagine a dude just walks up on stage. Sergey, I didn't know you had a stall here too. Of course I do. I can't deprive my the town of my street food. And all this reminds me of my days as a young traveling chef. I fired up the grill on many streets, so in many, in big fucking, I did it. But don't be fooled. This is just the one. Today, I too find myself in the orchestra pit of the labels, allowing myself to be entranced by the bubbling of hot, hot. Today, there will be no long symphony of several movements. On this day, it all comes down to a single chord. It sounds more like two chords. I will call this masterpiece Sergei's famous pepper stew. That's delicious. You are blessed, don't you see? You are one of the lucky few you who may get a chance to sample a bowl of skill. This one. This is one hibernation festival you will never forget. What's well, my first one? So. There you are. Uh, oh, there you are. I was just warming up my voice to cheer Chloe on. Want a sneak preview? Sure. Okay, here it comes. Go, oh, Chloe, go! Everyone else's stew is whoa! Everyone else's stew is whoa? I think you can work on my grammar. I'm rooting for everyone in the festival. Oh, so you're rooting for Chloe too? Great. I'm selling actual goods from our store today. Pins, greeting cards, wrapping paper. But if I'm honest, my thoughts are elsewhere. All I can think about is Chloe winning that trophy. Sounds like someone's pissing. Now nah, they're uh, frying chicken. Hey, Doc. Fancy bumping into you here. Good to see you, too. How are you? Lungs doing well? Couldn't be better. I got this cool spray thing now. I just keep it in my pocket all day long. And when I'm out of breath, I take a quick hit from it. That's awesome! Yay, awesome inhalers! I'm glad to hear it! Don't lay off the cigarettes, okay? I know it's hard on special occasions, but your lungs will thank you. Sure thing, Doc. I really don't want to end up back in the hospital. Is the internet working better now, at least? Afraid not. Grim. Hey, can you buy us a mug of nougat punch? No. God, I just want to try it. You want to end up in the hospital again? Okay, hey, okay. It's in what? Can you get a candle? Okay. Oof. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm rain for you, Mia. Thank you. Hello, Porcunians. May I have your attention for a moment? Nice job. Oh. Hello, Porcunian. Happy Happy Nation Festival to you all. Hi, Leo. Have a good luck. I love you more. Uh, today is a special day for me as I have the honor of officially opening the Happy Nation Festival for the ninth time in a row. You'd think this would be a cakewalk for me by now, but I'm still nervous. Do a flip! Nervous with joy. Getting all of you celebrating with you. This is always the highlight of my year. I look into your face and think back to the wonderful years we've had in this town. I've seen many of you grow up. New faces have joined us. Old ones have left. And me, I'm still here, and I'm still standing, yeah, 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 for that I am truly grateful. Ain't wanna wait for long too long. After all, we're all here to party, right? I just have one more thing to ask of you. As you enjoy your delicious drinks today, and treat yourself to a hearty bowl of hot stew. Gossip and laughs with your loved ones. 
Veritas. Those cannot be with us today. Those who have passed over the course of the last year, and also for those who are at work right now or simply somewhere else. Think of them. And when you see them again, tell them how much fun you had today. And make them turn green with envy. <laughs> Alright, let's get on with it. I, Adele von Wittestein, have feel, can feel the hairs on the back of my neck standing up in anticipation as I hereby declare this year's hibernation festival open! Ta-da! Here's to all of you. Here's to you, old Betty. Yes. Here's to us. They're not in the water. Hey, retrospect, have a good sleep. I love you. You're stopping by, dog. Just like every year. Hot water is passed through the pipes of the town fountain to keep us warm and serves as a base for the students. Good luck to everyone taking part. And bon appetit to all our stew samplers. Here's to us. Our Mia. Go Mia! Give Hydric a good roasting! And Sergey too! He's been on my blacklist ever since he took fried corn off the corn on the cob off the menu. Show him how it's done. Woohoo! What the fuck happened to her, her voice at the end? Those are other characters talking. Good news, the hazelnut candles are just firming up. They should be fresh and ready to go right after the contest, if not before. Look at it down, bopping away. I hope I am like that when I grow up. Don't tell anyone, but my tear came to my eye when she was speaking just now. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed the festival. Too bad you can't stay yet to the end, but have yourself a great time and all the same. See you around, Finny Shimmy. We're hungry! We are hungry! Hungry, hungry, we're so hungry, yeah! Hungry, hungry, and tasty too! the recipe as usual. Ration. Wait. Don't over season. You're doing great, Mia! Can I taste it? Finley! What's wrong? Finley! Yes? Pickle weed! What's a pickle weed? My secret ingredient. Spice that makes my tomatoes too special. I forgot to get it. I don't have any, Finley. What am I gonna do? I can't leave my stew. Everything's already shimmering. The time's running out too. Don't worry, I uh, I'll go get some for you. Where do you get something like that? At the grocery store. But well, they closed hours ago. Hmm. Any other ideas? Yeah. You see Roman Hodrick over there in the front? Yeah. Pickle weed is his main ingredient. I don't know why. It must make his do taste terribly bitter. Uh, knowing him, I'm sure he won't give any away. I'll ask him. You just keep doing what you're doing. In just a few more minutes, you can taste it. It's time to drop your spoons. Oh no, did you hear that? Don't worry, I'll be right back. Really? Thank you. Mr. Hydrick, may I disturb you for a moment? You know, I'm always happy to listen to one of my team's concerns, but I still need a moment for two for my stew. And as you've just heard, time is in the essence. I need some of your pickle weed. What? From my ingredients? Yeah, could you spare some? You're doing me a huge favor. No, sorry. Out of the question. You're a very likable young man. And I would like to help, truly I would. My ingredients have been measured out precisely according to my recipe. If I change even the slightest thing, it will affect the taste. I'm sorry. Okay, thanks anyway. Don't mention it. I'll go look around and see if I can find some. My young colleague. Hmm? I've been thinking. You are part of St. Ursula's Hospital. Just like myself and other young colleague back there. We have to stick together. With that in mind, I've decided to give you some of my pickle weed. Really? That's kind. Hmm. But of course, I can't simply give my ingredients away. Nida raises his voice a little. So I would like to ask you a favor of you. Okay. What do you need? I'd like a bottle of caraway liquor from the wine stand. Okay. No problem. Let's head over there and buy you one. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. 
This caraway liquor is very special. Yona has produced only one bottle of it. Oh. Guessing it's expensive then. Expensive? Not at all. In fact, the wine cellar is looking to give it away. Oh? Yes, it's a prize of sorts for the first person to say the secret phrase to her. The secret phrase? Exactly. It's sort of a password. Solution to a riddle. Do you have any idea what it's about? No. So talk to the person at the wine stand. I'm sure you'll find the answer there. Captions are delayed again. I'm sorry, Quack. I really need to fix the problem. Okay, I'll get the bottle. Excellent. Even though it would be nicer if you'd helped us for free. Where's the wine stand? I'm interested in winning a bottle of caraway liquor. Oh, really? Oh, then tell me. The red trees have left the forest. I'm sorry? Oh, you don't know the answer? Apparently not, no. Okay, okay. There are a few other people here who are also playing the game. Maybe one of them can give you the answer. How do I find out who knows the answer? That's part of the puzzle. And I'm going to give you a little something to help you get started. Now pay attention. Blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. That's it? That's it. Take a look around. Talk to people. And good luck. Thanks. Oh, shit. I'm on a timer. Blue shells glitter prettily in the morning sun. Uh, what are you talking about, uh, Finny? Do you have the answer? We shall glitter put it in the morning sun. I know the answer. Hold on. No idea what that's supposed to mean, though. I'll figure it out. Oh, what well, fuck? What did she say? Oh, fuck! They hide when the yellow sun grows too hot. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to me. They hide when the yellow sun goes too hot. I know the answer. The green train is almost here. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. The green train is almost here. Oh, that sounds familiar. The travels to the purple sea. Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. Travels on the purple sea. The answer to that. The answer to that is the red tree of left your voice. Does it help you? It does, thank you. I think that's it. Right? Yeah, there's nobody else here. That's what they what they said initially. Oh, you've returned. You know the answer? Hold on a second. Are you playing the game too? Why, of course. There's no rule against it after all. So do you have the answer? I, um, yes. The red trees have left the forest. Now they grow on the golden beach. Incredible! That's the right answer. You've won! And in record time too. Really? Yay. Congratulations! Here's your prize. Bottle of caraway liquor. Thank you very much. Yeah, Dash, have a great evening. You too, my friend. Don't drop the bottle. Foreshadowing. God, look at her go. Mr. Hydric, I have the liquor. Very good, my young colleague. And the team always... Uh, you can always rely on Team St. Ursula. Can I have the pickle weed now? Of course. You've held up your part into the bargain, and so shall I. Here's your prize. A bottle of the finest pickle weed. Thank you. Sorry, I've got to run now. I've got the ingredient. What? Really? That's awesome. You're the best sous chef in the world. We can talk more later. Time's running out. So, my little lovelies, your time is up. The cooking period is officially over. 
Set your wooden spoons to one side and prepare for the tasting. Hey, dig in, folks. Official announcers get first dibs here. Uh -huh. What's a bruschetta? It was fantastic. I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. I don't think I'll ever need to eat again. But before we get to the award ceremony, there's something I like to get off my chest. There are a lot of different people living here in Porcupine. Some have only been here for a short time. Some have been here for their whole lives. And that's good. And the way things should be. Be kind to each other. Be grateful. Understanding. And if you do that, Porcupine will remain as a beautiful place it is. Maybe these are just the man calling thoughts of an old woman. Maybe I've already had a nougat punch or two. I love you all. So before the food comes sets in, let's get to the award ceremony. To refresh your memory, here are the participants and their creations. Chloe took us on a wild journey through the world of porkini mushrooms. Roman presented you with a spicy pickle wheat pot. And Isaac whipped up a, high, a handmade alphabet soup for our bookworms. Wonderful handwriting, by the way. A lovely Nia, a first-time contestant today. There was a tomato stew that I'm sure has bowled more than a few of you over. And our last candidate is someone we only normally see when we're sick. Shaggy, except for the cafeteria of St. Ursula's. Hey, Vic, how you doing? His entry this year was a fiery hot pepper stew. Hey, that's everyone. Now hold on to your spoons. I'm about to get serious. Winner of this year's Porcupine Stew Competition is... Mia with their fruity, spicy tomato stew. How can be some, something be fruity and spicy? Really? Congratulations. Yes! Congratulations! What a great stew! And that goes for all of you as well. Congratulations on your amazing creation. And congratulations to everyone who got their hands on a bowl. You're really lucky to get to taste such wonderful stews. And now, let the congratulations continue. What? doesn't know drew doesn't know what i was watching the tribeca games vod and then i was like i wonder if he's live now i am every single night at 11 p.m est except for sunday and wednesday you said it mm -hmm. can i get a candle now Ooh, finally done I couldn't concentrate with all the excitement in the contest in the background. Anyway, can you get, can get you something new now? I was wondering if I get a hazelnut candle. One hazelnut candle coming right up. What do I owe you? Nothing. Nothing? That's right. Everyone gets one hazelnut candle for free if they want it. Hmm, that's very nice of you. Doesn't it mean you end up losing money on the candles? Yeah, making hazelnut candles is my favorite hobby. But I, I really don't mind. Means I uh, need a little while to make them, though. But at least they always smell fantastic. Enjoy your candle. Very nice of you. Thank you. Hey, happy Hibernation Festival. Yeah, you were awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks. Did you like the stew? Even better than that, I haven't even tasted it yet. What? Why? Because the whole pot got gobbled up straight away. I didn't stand a chance. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, it's no big deal. I can see how delicious it was from the looks in everyone's eyes. Celebrate. Earned it. A lot of Mexican snacks that have spice on them. Oh, okay. Celebrate, Mia. You've earned it. Thanks. I feel a little awkward, actually. <laughs> Alright, let's get to work. Is everything all right? Yeah, everything's great. I wanted to give you something. Really? 
Is there some of your stew left? No. <laughs> that was gone in a flash. You're even such a tremendous help to me, and I'm so grateful. You're always so helpful. It's amazing, really. What do you mean? What I'm saying is that I couldn't have done this without you, which is why I wanted you to have my winner's trophy. But you're the one who won it. Yeah, but it was as much your victory as it was mine, really. Besides, I don't even know where to put it in my apartment. Thank you, Mia. I feel very honored. How about we share it? It could be uh, one of the trophies that moves from place to place. I'll take it and invite you to dinner sometime. I can show you my finest cooking skills, and then you can take it home with you. And we can cook again at your place, and then we can take turns with the trophy and the cooking. Okay. Yeah. Let's take turns. Happy Hibernation Festival, Finley. Be you. Celebrate. You deserve it. Now I need to get going. See you in the morning. Good night. You're covered in spicy sauce? Spicy sauce? Yeah, I don't know if you can uh, see or not, Quack, but um, I would like to present to you uh, something very important. Very, very important. Very, very important. Yeah. See this wall? See this wall right there? You see that? You got a little bit of wall right there? Uh, if you would like to take a look at my skin, you can very, you can very much see... Uh, that my skin tone is very similar to that of that wall. Porcupine, all of, oh hey porcupine, all of you! Happy hibernation festival! I think I was meant to be up there. <laughs> Big screen, my bad. Hibernation festivals do you think you've celebrated? 168. What? Uh, 168. What, really? The hospital isn't even that old. You're right there, but... You're right there, but I haven't always been here. I didn't even know that. They brought me out here a long time ago. And I may not look it. But I haven't missed a single hibernation festival. Impressive. Were you there today, too? Not in the way you might think. You know, Nina Slav, the guy on the town fountain. I don't like him very much. We had a falling out a few decades ago. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? Well, I don't want to trouble you with my woes. But that arrogant upstart is so full of himself. He always has to be at the center of the celebrations. Ooh, look at me. My hot water supplies the stew contest. The stew keeps everyone warm, and the only in the only taste so good because of me. And then he gets all those lavish decorations every year too. It's not fair. Are you jealous? Jealous? Me? Jealous of all that slime ball and his stupendous decorations? Never. Hi, Night Falco. How you doing? Sorry, I digress. Don't stop on my account. Shall I give you a tip for next year? Sure, thank you. Get yourself a hood. It'll keep the first snow off your head. And no one will know it's you, it's you who's partying the whole night away. And now I'm walking to work with my eyes closed. Oh, now we're good. It's so cold tonight. I'm under the blankets. Hell yeah. Comfy. Get yourself some tea. Comfy. 
Not in the mood for the hibernation festival? Uh, no, he's watching. Sure I am. But someone has to keep this place running. I'll be down in a minute, though. Then we'll get to the real party started. All that nonsense beforehand with the stews and everything. I can't stand it. Boring. I heard you can win a bottle of caraway liquor at the wine stand, though. I've got to get my hands on that. I've heard it's delicious. And there's only one bottle of it. I'm afraid I've got some bad news. What? Someone has claimed the bottle already? Well... Roman Hydric has the bottle. Nah, greaseball. How dare he! The world just isn't a fair place. He won't even appreciate a drink of that quality. When I get my hands on him... No, shift. Dr. Kikowski is waiting. And you're on the night shift together tonight. Alright. Some passion fruit tea? Fruity. Tis the season. Where's my bruschetta? What the fuck is bruschetta? Get into your corner, Drew. Get in my corner. I'm not a corner, I'm a coomer. It's different. Thin my belly, just but just a uh, baby bird. Easy. You just go. Ah, I got priorities. Can I go see Ermin like right away? No. Okay, I got I got to take all my shit shit first. Bread with tomato and olive oil. Oh, okay. Good evening, Finley. Happy Hibernation Festival, Doctor Kowski. Yes. I hope you had a good time. Yeah, I... It's just the two of us today. Just the two of us. We can make it if we try. Just the two of us. Holidays are well and good, but someone has to keep the lights on here. That's true. So, how are things looking? As they should. People actually always feel a little better on days like this. Some are homesick. Uh, some are homesick, others are just happy to have some peace and quiet. Still, from a psychological point of view, the Hibernation Festival actually seems to help them. I will take care of our dear Irma today. Please handle your duties. You'll find me in the break room when you're done. Alright, see you soon. Oh, I just noticed I have texts. Rochetta kind of looks gross, not gonna lie. I can't believe I won. I'm still shaking. That was amazing. Thanks, Finley. I can't reply. Hey, I see Irma. I got priorities. I can't. Oh, maybe this room? Oh, it's 304, not 303. Oh, no, it's 303. I guess I gotta do my duties first. I would really love to go to the, the Hibernation Festival today. I'm sure you would. Sorry it didn't work out. It's okay. I'm having my own little hibernation festival right here. I just uh, had coffee with cream and hazelnut. It was the highlight of my day. You have an inflammation of the renal pelvis. Are you in pain? Yes, but I'm trying not to let it get to me. Alright, but don't make things too uncomfortable for yourself. You can always get some painkillers if you want. For now I'm going to give you some medication to help bring the swelling down. How you doing? Beans going tortillas? I don't want to try it. The idea of beans on toast alone is pretty disgusting. I think this might be the highest spot. It's different beans, though. It's baked beans. We 
please tell us if the uh, pain gets any worse. Or if you have any problems urinating. You shouldn't really be drinking caffeine this late in the day, but you might find that coffee helps a little. Anyway, I wish you a wonderful hibernation festival and a sound night's sleep. Thank you. I'm definitely wide awake right now, I've got to admit. Ahem. I don't know, I'm down to try anything. Boston baked beans. The Boston balls. I'm willing to try anything once, certainly. Uh, still looks fucking gross, and is it, I'm um, good. Good evening, Miss Van Gale. It is important not to get rattled. Uh, after every, in, in uh, uh, after every inhalation comes an exhaustion. Everything that is closed will one day be opened again. And device wait, isn't it? I don't remember his voice. Is this Theobald? I don't know. Everything that is closed will one day be opened again, and vice versa. And uh, interrupt for a moment? Oh. Hello, Finley. I didn't hear you come in. You're just lost in conversation. I bumped into dear Sonia this evening in the cafeteria. That's one way of putting it. I've forgotten why I was meant to be having an important meeting today. Suddenly, it got hard to breathe. And I passed out again. Mr. Golterra brought me back up here. I have to admit, to be a certain amount of luck, Benjamin from surgery happened to be passing through at the time, too. He was a huge help in getting Sonya up here safely. Thank you, Dr. Golterra. I'll take over from here. Oh, cool. Let me know if I can be of any assistance to you in an advisory cast capacity. Miss Van Galen, I wish you all the best and that's recovery for both the body and mind. Now I got, I've been taking too far, I've taken far too long a break. I wish you both a pleasant evening. Thank you. You too. Just got home. Our car broke down. Kids were bored out of their minds. It was a fun adventure. Glad to be here now instead. Well, I'm glad you made it home safe. Uh, and... You'll look back at it fondly in a few days. Um, how are you feeling, Mrs. Von Galen? Because at least you had a good story out of it. Uh, I'm, I still feel a little out of sorts. Your blood pressure must be fluctuating. You had an extremely high resting pulse when you first arrived here. The drugs regulate your blood pressure. Hmm, Dr. Gatora kept talking to me until I felt better. He was saying something about my inner core, breathing exercises, that kind of thing. I tried yoga once, not my cup of tea. Dr. Gautera has his own ways of uh, looking at things, but he wasn't exactly wrong. Hmm. Let me check your readings. You have to make sure that the drugs are working to remain stable. All right. Oh, fuck. So hard. Oh! Much better than last time. But still not great. I'm afraid the medication will only uh, go part of the way for solving your problem. It would be wise to develop ways to reduce stress. Unfortunately, this happens to a lot of people nowadays. But how am I supposed to avoid stress? Well, there are a few options. You'll need to work out what works best for you. They didn't teach us much about stress avoidance techniques in medical school, to be honest. Hmm, the things that Dr. Gatora said. They kind of helped. I'm going to take a nap. Maybe I'll get lucky and catch Dr. Gatera again tomorrow. Rest well. Why you said Boston like I was saying in my brain? Boston. Boston baked beans. This all kind of looks like Ace. Dr. Grenda and Neefstorf? Finally. Bring me on back. Bring me back a cup of black tea. And then tell Dr. Theobald that I want to speak to him. I'm actually, I'm attending here. I'm your attending physician. Or a doctor? 
Saint Ursula save us. You're barely out of diapers. Do they say do they sell medical degrees online now? Let's not lose sight of let's not lose sight of the matter, Dr. Niesdorf. You came to us today suffering from severe tremors. On top of that, you've been complaining of recurrent itching and muscle atrophy. Liver cirrhosis. What? Liver cirrhosis. Are you deaf? Have you already been diagnosed? I can't see anything here. I am a surgeon, child. I've had liver cirrhosis for longer than you've been alive. Accordingly, I'm aware of the high morality, mortality rate once surgical in intervention becomes necessary. That's why I'm here. So let, let's cut to the chase and get down to business. Okay. Five, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. Liver readings are in critical range. You don't say. Make sure it's cirrhosis of the liver we're dealing with. Uh, we need to do a liver biopsy. No. No? I already know it's cirrhosis of the liver. What do you take me for? Although I'm sure your accounting department will be thrilled if you carry out a few unnecessary procedures they can charge me for. What if it's not liver cirrhosis? Do I have to teach you how to treat me right here? Listen. I... I could drink if you know what I mean. Excuse me? I'm talking about chronic alcohol abuse. And your nursing staff insist I don't drink here. So now I have two problems. Alcohol withdrawal and this blasted liver cirrhosis. According to the latest research, your symptoms could also be triggered by other diseases. New research. A load of waffle, that's what it is. Well, go ahead. I'm sure you know exactly what you're doing. All right. What am I doing now? Can I go see uh, Irma now? I'll bet he'd really like that drink now. Ha ha ha! Ooh! Man, you're a hoot. I want waffles? I could go for a waffle. Where's Irma? I'm done, Dr. Kukowski. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? No, everything's fine. You're right, the patients really are doing a little better today. I'm glad I'm on the night shift now. It's really quite pleasant. You say so. Well, let's see. Ab. You're really quick today. I like that. I have one more request for you. Of course, what? Um, I mean, Mr. Kalama. I've been watching her tonight and she's not doing very well. She's asked if the nice doctor would stop by again today. And I think she means you. Why don't you go check on her? I'm sure she'd be happy to see you. Sure, I'd love to. I got a gift I wanted to give her anyways. Well, don't keep her waiting. Well, uh, Hoot, I see what you did there. Just a beaky little pun. Hey, Neon, how you doing? Hey, Irma, how are you? Doing e. I thought you were out celebrating today. Oh, that stuck around for a while. It, it, it was great. I met a lot of people, and the stew contest was really exciting. 
they got uh, the found working again for the occasion, and look what I found, Irma. Can you smell that, Doctor? No, I'm playing a video game. Your scent is just incredible. Wait, hang on. did with it. Uh. Oh, it's right here. Is this hazelnut? No! This is hazelnut. I'm getting immersed, Chad. I'm getting immersed. I'm getting immersed. There you go. Oh, it's like keyed out. It's fine. Whatever. Hmm. The scent is just incredible. This is hazelnut. It's hazelnut vanilla. Banana nut bread and hazelnut vanilla. I'm so immersed right now. Mm, the scent is an uh, sense is uh, uh, scent is incredible. You really made my day. Can you smell it, chat? Yeah, I'm feeling much less shivery already. How's it smell? Like hazelnut vanilla and banana nut bread? It just brings me back to so many images for me. So many memories from long ago. Well, the many, many hibernation festivals I've seen. It was your first one today, wasn't it? Yeah. Of course I can. I'm right behind you. Oh, you're so fast. You must have, like, got out of the way. Maybe you should, uh, get... Oh, wait. I, I know. Uh, okay, I'll, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Oh, there you are. Hey. Good to see you, Quack. I hope you're, you're real comfortable. I'll get you a blanket. Hang on. I'll get you a blanket. You can't see her, Chad. She's too down low. I bet uh, you should get some uh, rest, Irma. All that talking gets to your lungs. Yeah, it's all right. I need someone I can in my lungs too. I'm very tired. Like it up my favorite Twitch streamer? Hang on. <laughs> I'm very tired. But I would like to tell you one last story. Irma? What do you mean by that? It's okay. What? No, it's not okay. Not at all. We'll get you back on your feet, I promise. I'll get Dr. Krakowski right away. Figure it out. You've already done more than I can imagine. Let me ask one more favor of you. Of course. What is it? Mm, I'd love another cup of tea. My throat's a little dry, you know. Of course, I... We... Now, Finley, don't fuss. It's all right. I'll just, I'll dash to the break room. We have tea there. And I'll be right back. Cup of tea would do just the right thing now. Well? We all know what's about to happen. We all know. We know how this goes. We just have hot water here, thank goodness. What kind of tea should I make? What the fuck is a winter tea? Okay, now I'd better get this straight to Irma. Finley, taking a break already. No, I... 
I'm just getting a cup of tea for a patient. Mm, yes. Old Irma has a taste for the final things. Could you come with me, please? Irma isn't doing well. I know. I already went to see her and checked her readings. She's going to die in the next few hours. But we have to do something. What I'm going to do is make myself a cup of tea, too. How can you just walk in here like nothing's wrong? Why aren't you doing anything? I've already done everything I could. Sometimes even the best treatment in the world can't help Finley. But... Go to her. Make her last hours com as comfortable as possible. That is our duty to her now. And make sure she has enough painkillers. Shouldn't we contact your son? I have already tried that too. Unfortunately, I have not yet to be able to reach Guglielmo. I'll keep trying and inform him of the situation. Go now. Hermes T is getting cold. Okay. Surprised. Irma, I'm back. And I've got your tea. Irma? Hmm? Ooh. Oh, sorry, I... I was off for a minute there. You were darling. Thank you very much. And you set it down there. I remember my first hibernation festival like it was yesterday. It was already very cold by the time of the year. Uh, the cars and the park benches were buried in snow. But the hibernation festival still has to go on, of course. Gilbert. Loves hot air balloons more than anything else in the world. Yeah, I had a great fear of flying. And he wasn't the youngest anymore either. Neither of us were. So we compromised by heading to the countryside to watch the balloon race. At least, I used to. Until it was banned. It was the hibernation festival. And Gilbert sat in a hot air balloon for the first time. There was already snow on the roofs of the houses. The lights, the smells. We were there every year. When it was cold outside and everyone started coming close together. Hey, I'd already bought a hazelnut candle and enjoyed some lovely conversations with any of laughter. And when Gilbert secretly slipped away, He'd spotted in a hot air balloon in the square. Back then, you could still book flights in the winter. They said you could see the whole town from up there. But that year, the balloon remained grounded. The weather was already barely cold and very windy. Then, all of a sudden, an icy gust from the wind blew across the square. Hats and caps flew through the air. Mothers had to hold on to their children. And that gust of wind blew Mike Gilbert right into the basket of the balloon. And when he picked himself up to climb out again, he got the fright of his life. The balloon had broken loose and was already rising hundreds of feet above the town. And me? I'd seen the whole thing. And I leapt desperately at the angling rope to try and hold the balloon down. But instead, I simply floated away with it. Gilbert helped me into the basket, and the wind carried us higher and higher into the wintry clouds. Porcupine was no more than a speck of, of light in the fog. Eventually, we disappeared together. Gilbert 
could barely move due to his fear of heights and the cold bit into our skin. But I managed to cheer him up. His dream had finally come true. It reminded him. Riding in a hot air balloon. But unfortunately we realized that the burner was frozen. Then I remembered the hazelnut candle I bought. So Gilbert and I made ourselves customer, co comfortable in the basket of the balloon and lit the candle to keep warm. I don't know how long we sat there, but it was indescribably beautiful. Just us. The sky and the clouds and the scent of the hazelnut candle. Suddenly there was a bang and Bernard started up again. The heat from the hazelnut candle thawed it out. Gilbert quickly figured out how to steer the balloon. Even the altitude didn't bother him anymore. But how would we know which way to go? Then, before we could even begin to worry again, I heard it. Very softly, the hibernation hit. Song everyone in Porcupine sings together at the hibernation festival. We strained our ears and Gilbert steered the balloon straight toward the song. And eventually, Porcupine emerged from the fog. In the beautifully decorated marketplace, the snow covered roofs, the festival goes. What a sight. It broke into song to help us find our way back. Gilbert landed right in front of the fountain, and all the crowd cheered. And that's the story, more or less, of how Mike Gilbert and I took flight together for the first and last time. He died the following year. We'll be reunited with him soon, and then we'll fly together again. My Gilbert and I. Are they still playing the hibernation hymn in the square? Maybe. I'm not sure. I think I can hear it. Just faintly. Yeah, they're probably still celebrating. And here's the two of us. Stuck working the night shift at the hospital, huh? You're doing a good job with the work, but I... Irma? I made it. To the... To the hibernation. Fantastic. Awesome. Maybe we can uh, rack up a few more, Ace. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty rough. Whoa! Looks like someone got out of the wrong side of bed this morning. What happened? Didn't you enjoy the hibernation festival? Things aren't so great, Alfio. Can I help you? No. Whoa, whoa, whoa!
good. I'm a doctor, they said. The money's worth it, they said. I mean, the money's pretty good. Irma's ghost came back to say bye to, to Drew. Yeah? Did you spill the candle on your keyboard? No. I just dropped a lid. Bentley. Hello. You don't look so good. If I didn't know any better, I'd sell you the inner rivers bursting its banks. You could say that. How are things with your sister? You told her about your stream of consciousness idea. Two twigs clinging together to stem the current. You cried for a full hour. That's a good thing, I hope. It is. Soon the river student will become its master, right, Finley? You mean me? I mean, not yet. But soon. Perhaps. Wow. Next, I'll teach you how to choose the right camping chair. I don't know if I'm ready for that. <laughs> Cry into your money bags. Cry into your money bags and all you get is bloody tears. What? What? How long do the footprints stay? Not long. Bike will be mine one day. One day. Go see if, uh, my friend that I don't remember the name of, my flower friend. Uh, is making a uh, thingy. Kodama. I'm not hungry. I guess I picked the wrong day to go shopping. Most of the stores are closed. Mm, it's really cool today. Yeah, I'm glad our display windows have uh, double glazing. I doubt we'll have many customers this in this weather, though. Maybe it's the right day to take a little time off. Closed for the day. Guess we're taking a pee break. Hi, Dizzy. How are you? How's your stream? Uh, if any of you aren't following Dizzy, go fucking do it. Hang on. Go fucking do it. Dizzy's a good bean. Good bean! They deserve your follow! Give the follow! I reset those. Just felt like it. You went down many rabbit holes? Like what? Give me some examples. You put monkey in the bathroom. Oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. I seen something and I forgot about it. Hang on. Uh, is it Control Shift T to bring back the tab? Yeah. Hang on. I seen something. I forgot about it. Hang on. Oh, it's not that. There it is. What the fuck is this? Sounds for babies in br brain development and sleep. So, like, this has been used for like vor stuff, right? Right? Like, this has been this has been used for vor stuff, right? Like, like, like we're gonna like let's be real here. This has been used for vor, right? 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 
right? You want the monkey in the bathroom video? Not the back rooms, that's different. Oh, hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Here's a monkey falling into a toilet. been put into this video. Like, it looks like a stupid shit post, but, like, they did a lot of work for this. They didn't say the banana part at any point, though, so, uh, they, they didn't say the banana part at any point, so dislike. All right, cool. There's a monkey in my bathroom. Please give that bitch a banana. Eli, how are you? How was your trip? I fucking hate that video. Um, and then you want a baby sensory video. Let's do this one. It's gay. This is what you want? Okay, I'll get you, I'll give you a moment of this. I, I'll just I'll give you. A the fruit but this one's gay pride month Seems very good good well, you'll just have to play in another one soon This isn't a reaction channel. We, we have to stop, okay? We have to stop. We're going down a, a dangerous road. Any more of that, and we'll, we'll end up on the... On, 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 we, 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 gotta, we gotta go away from it. Hi, Theo. How are you? Finley! Is everything all right? Not really. It's Irma, isn't it? Juliana called me this morning. I'm already making it. It's very sad. I was really fond of old Irma. She was my patient. I was there when she died. I couldn't do anything for her. Oh yeah, we're at a deep moment, by the way, chat. I know it's easy to forget with baby sensory videos, but we're like, we're, we're hashtag deep right now. I'm so sorry to hear that, Finley. That must have been awful. I don't know how do I feel yet. I hardly slept, even though I was exhausted after the night shift. I thought I was prepared for something like this, but Irma was... I know, Finley. Everybody knew Irma, and everyone loved her. She was lucky you were her doctor. I'm late. We can talk more another time, okay? Uh, just don't be poor, forehead. Yeah, easy. I have to skedaddle. There's a monkey in my bathroom. Can you get him a banana?
the last time you ate a banana, chat? Well, these are the rich people houses. Whenever I think of bananas, I think of the one time that Croissant showed me how, uh, uh, I, I forget, I forget the exact words she used, but it was something along the lines of eating a banana the e-girl way, which is where you eat it horizontally. Look, isn't this still great? Everything's white. What should I do today? A little snow bad? Make snow angels? The sledding? Challenge Cristo to a snowball fight? <laughs> Too many choices! You yeah, right. You look ill. Did you catch a virus at the hospital? No, I'm fine. Phew, that's all right then. How'd it go, Doc? Day is short, and who knows how long the snow's gonna last. Whoa, what is going on with that guy? Is he gonna do it again? Whoa! They fucked up the layers. Drew, your captions are gone? Uh, stream went down today. Uh, so the captions are, like, weirdly ahead of when I talk. I, I can't fix it anyway. The only way to fix it would be to fully restart stream. But they are there. I just need to fix the issue that keeps causing stream to go down. I don't know how. I need to figure it out. That was beautiful, isn't it? Uh huh. I forget how I get to work this way. Is it up here? Subtitles so good they know the words you say before you say them. Mm hmm. Just fix it? I mean, I'll check again. Uh, there might be, like, a way that I can refresh them that I don't know. But I don't think there is. I mean, I could try, like... There, I disabled them. And then I re-enabled them, maybe. You could try refreshing now. Maybe they'd be fixed. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no... I, I, I just need to fix the issue that causes stream to go down. I don't have to deal with it, you know? <laughs> no? Yeah, I don't know. You can peer into the future now. Since a dark cloud over you, young one. You had a death on your ward, right? It's never pretty, that's for sure. But the river of life flows on regardless. Let it carry you. And we'll all get swept into the great sea of eternity one day. Gee, thanks. Mike Wazowski. Morning. Always watching. Have a nice weekend. My the gloomy face. Morning, Ingrid. I'm not in a great mood. Is it because of Mrs. DeCalma? I'm sorry, kid, really. I liked the old lady, too. I was hoping I'd feel better after the weekend. Well, I guess you're just one of those people who feels a lot for others. Make sure it doesn't become a problem. That's a part of our profession, kid. Try to focus. There's enough living people around here who need your help. And I get it, though. They always say the first death really sticks with you. Maybe you're right. I'll focus and try my best. That's the spirit. Hmm. 
making a choice to take the elevator today. Word looks different today. Ryder. Good morning, Finley. How are you? All right, I think. A patient died yesterday. Your patient. I imagine Irma's death is still on your mind. Nevertheless, I would ask that you don't let your performance levels drop. I didn't see it, Floof. We can let our thing. We can let things affect our work. Got it. You can rely on me. You know the drill. Well, once again, we'll talk once again. We'll talk again once you finish treating your patients. Try to make this a good day, Finley, in spite of everything. Good luck. Oh, and one more thing. Irma died of complications from pneumonia. She was old. Her immune system just couldn't hold everything off. She remained stable for a while. However, her condition worsened during her stay here. These things happen. The incident with the water damage in her room probably didn't help either. What I'm trying to say is... You did nothing wrong. I've even made a note of, to that effect in my report. I assigned you to treat Irma. And that was the right decision. I'm sure of it. Thanks. The hospital killed her to some degree. I also have texts. Why, if you need to talk? Yeah, I did. Making a memorial figurine. Gonna make sure it's a good one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. E33 first. Rip the band-aid off. <sighs> Hospital killed her. Called the lawyers. Irma's relatives. Honestly. Now, my dear colleague, what's your assessment of your health status? My with uh, uh, my withdrawal symptoms are diminishing, and so was the pain. Good. Do you mind if I examine you? Hmm, that's what I'm here for. Oh, I forgot about this. I haven't done this in so long. Keep increasing your vitamin B1 and energy intake. Your liver's on the mend. Are you sure? Nonsense. My liver's had it. My readings are clear. Really? You came to us just in time. Feel free to take a look for yourself. We'll have to keep you here for a few more days for observation. If you want to keep on living, you need to keep off the alcohol. Forever. Clear, honest words. I like it. Maybe something will come of you after all in the distant, far off future. But what I do or don't do is none of your business, understand? I've given you my medical opinion. What you do with your what you do with it is entirely up to you. You're gonna kill the owl next? With that hanger? I'll think about it. I think I'd feel too bad. She does awfully look like you. Good morning, Miss Van Galen. Hmm, isn't is it that time already? Your colleague said you'd be checking up on me again today. Oh, looks like she was right. Shall we get straight to it? I'm sure you want to get back home, too. You're so crusty. Damn right. That crust adds flavor. <laughs> <laughs> Why wash your dishes? Just eat it with the crust. <laughs> oh. Holy shit. 
Um. Um. What can I do here? That raises it too high. And that brings it back down. This gets those two perfect. But it's only four, so this can't be the solution. I'm thinking that maybe my pink ones are wrong, because down here also has pink. There we go, that's it. How did he compress after Irma? Yeah, that was a lot. Yep, I'm seeing a significant improvement. You know what? I'm actually feeling a lot better today. Better than I have in years. I feel like I'm really aware of my surroundings again. Sounds like the medication's doing its job. Yes, but I think there's more to it than that. I managed to talk to Dr. Gautera again. And it was like he tore down the wall inside me. Suddenly I saw everything I used to think was important in a different light. I've decided to change my life around completely. I don't want to end up here again. I want to be able to focus on other things instead of just living for my job. I called my boss this morning and quested four weeks off. That's great! That's not what she thought. She threatened to fire me on the spot. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. I'm, you know, I am the island. I am the sea. I may be unemployed. But I don't care at all. That's great! I'll do my exercises and follow my heart more. Thank you for helping me. I'll make sure to thank Dr. Gautera before I leave too. Have a great day. Look after yourself. Family. I heard the news this morning. Do you want to talk? Maybe grab a coffee or something? No, I want to get my work done first. Okay. You want to talk later, just come and find me, okay? Chat, do we want to talk? You're Emma, right? Okay. Miss Emma Strawberry Yogurt, right? No. I'm Emma Smith. Oh, right. That's what it says here. I must have read it wrong. How are you feeling, Emma Smith? I miss my home. I got a tummy ache, too. You did get some pills, didn't you? But it's still not better yet. No. Alright, well, let's take a closer look at what's up with your tummy, then. Yeah, that's my VOD channel right there. They've added one more, didn't they? Hey, Shuns, how you doing? It's been a while, bud. How have you been? Um, let's choose to keep. Let's change this to bone. Still says two, so maybe Bone was right? I don't know. This is a hard one. Still says two.
Um, this one's always the hard one. Well, it's not the hardest, but... Okay. So one of those is right and one of those is wrong. Uh, let's take a risk on the foot. And then let's say the last one can't be the brain, it can't be the bone, it can't be the tooth. Hmm. It can't be the tooth, it can't be the bone, it can't be the brain, it can't be the foot. It can't be the hand, because we already have a hand. It can't be blood, because we already have a blood. Alright, so this one has to be the skull. So the foot is incorrect. So what can this be? It can be the tooth. Can't be the bone. It could be the brain, so it's either tooth or brain. I think it's brain. Yep, got it. That was hard. I think your pain is because of your food allergy. I read that you're not allowed to eat certain things, is that right? Yes. So are you watching what you eat then? Yeah, boy. What is it? Well, Gordy said that after a hibernation festival, you can eat as many nuts as you want. Is Gerda your mom? No, my mom's name is Mom and she's away. Who's Gerda? Gerda needs dog. I always visit her when I'm homesick. She's a doctor like you. Wait a minute. Do you mean a Dr. Niesdorf? Yeah. Can you do me a favor, Emma? Okay. Please, please don't eat any more nuts. I'm sorry, but your tummy doesn't like nuts. Not even after the, the festival. Oh. It's mean, I know, but your tummy aches are mean too, aren't they? Yes. So keep off the nuts, and we'll think about some nice things for you and your tummy to eat, okay? Yeah, okay! Good night, Falufa. I love you. Mwah! Thanks for hanging out, dog. Last time I popped in, it was the day before the Microsoft and Bethesda event, which you weren't that excited for. Uh, it sure, if anything, caught your eye from that event. I don't remember. <laughs> I was excited for, I, I was, I, I, I thought the Microsoft and Bethesda Direct was pretty good, but I don't remember the day before. We ranked them, but I didn't post it anywhere. I don't think, I don't remember. I did it on Twitter. I don't know, if you go onto my Twitter, you might be able to see my rankings of all the things. I did post all the, uh, VODs of, like, my reaction to the showcases on Twitter. Or on, uh, my YouTube channel. All done. Yep. It took you longer than usual today. But given the circumstances, I'm willing to turn a blind eye to that. Let's see. Yo! I got an ass! What do you got for me today? I don't have anything for you. Dr. Theobald was asking after you. Oh, really? Why? I couldn't say. However, he did ask if I could give you the rest of the day off. I'm not happy about it, but I said yes. I guess it should. Uh, it must be something important. You think I should go to his office? Uh, you can if you like, but you won't find him there. How do you know? Because he's just made himself comfortable in our break room. Oh. Strange. That's just the way he is. Guess I'll pop in and see him. As you wish. S for stinky? Speak for yourself. It smells like hazel in here. Uh, I 
I say, I say, Finley, there you are. Thank you for coming. Sure, Dr. Theobald. What can I do for you? Well, nothing, nothing, uh, but I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, first of all, I would like to say thank you. You've done an excellent job these past few days. Thanks. Is that all you wanted? No, no, not at all. I heard about an Irma de Camel's passing, of course. Uh, tragedy. Yeah, truly, I say, I truly. Like so many others here in Porcupine, I knew Irma well, and I liked her a lot. I miss her very much, the whole town will. But you were the one who looked after her and were there for her final days. Is Irma the first patient who's died under your care? Yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. It's not uncommon to struggle getting your, them off your mind the first time. I still remember my first, too. I think I know what you mean. I mean, I, I still think about Mr. Kama alive. It was like two days ago, dog. Just try not to let the thoughts affect you too much. Excuse me, I had a little bit too much tea. After all, there's still plenty of other people depending on your help. Don't get distracted from looking out for them, too. It's Irma's funeral service this afternoon, I say. It will be held at Gilbert's. Giuliano hosts most of his funeral in this town. I'm sure this one will be especially hard for him. You should be there. You'll feel better afterward. You mean I can go to the service? You're our excuse for the rest of the day. And I'm sure Mr. Camel would have invited you. Okay, I'll be there. Thank you, Dr. Theobald. And no need to thank me, Finley. Say goodbye to the old lady for me. See you again tomorrow. Give my regards to Irma, all right? Please give my condolences to Giuliano as well. I still remember her like it was yesterday. Literally died like yesterday. Yeah. Like it just happened. S for, uh, 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 Smoldy. Take care, kiddo, and don't slip on the snow. I've, uh, I already pulled something in my back this morning. Wow, it's night already? Jeesh. Big lungs on Drew? The better to breathe you with. It made me feel things, you know what I mean? And you slip and end up on the hospital yourself? It wouldn't be the first time. Can I interest you in a hot cup of coffee? Perhaps a tea or a saffron roll? No, thank you. No, thank you. I've got somewhere to be. Sure thing. Not the only thing big about Drew. Yeah, I got a pretty big ego, you're right. Very large ego. Coffee? Ew! I got some uh, almond milk for my tea, but they substituted it because they were out of vanilla, and they gave me just unsweetened normal almond milk, and I gotta say, I know it's like a privilege thing, I guess, you know? Like, I'm lucky to have any at all, but holy shit does it taste so much worse than the vanilla. Mm. Do you hear you too, young one? It's good to see you. 
roller coaster of life never stops, does it? A few days ago, we gathered to celebrate, and then we've gathered to weep. Hey, Giuliano. I'm sorry. I wish I'd had more. Family. It's okay. Thank you for coming. I know we haven't known each other long, but it means a lot. Please make yourself at home. Is food, drink. Go ahead, take a seat. And just, uh, make yourself at home. Is there anything I can do? Come to think of it. Here's one thing, actually. Anything you want. What is it? I think there's a colleague of yours here, too. He didn't hang around long. Um, he just stood in the corner and didn't talk to anyone. And then I think he went out the back door, and uh, I haven't seen him since. Can you uh, go see if he's still there? Yeah, I checked myself, but I got my hands full. Sorry, uh, yeah, I'm asking you for your help again. Hey, it's no problem, Juliana. I'd be happy to do it for you. Thank you. I'm sure Pina made the figurine. It's such a nice tradition. I'm proud of you, Pina. Yeah. Did you know Irma? Of course. I love stopping at church to enjoy my rounds. She was always sitting in the window with a plate of sugar next to her. She always made me coffee on cold days. I love one of her cookies right now. Um, I can't believe she just died like that. It's so unfair. Wow, you're here! Sorry, Finley. I know how much you liked Irma. How are you feeling? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Just happy I could be here today. Me too. Even if it has been a bit stressful for me. But I'd do anything for Irma. If there's anything I can do for you, just say, okay? Hey, Finley. Ted, you're here too! Of course. I had really fallen in love with this little bar. I didn't know there was a funeral today. And I didn't know the deceased at all. But I'd still like to be here for the wake. I'm sure Juliana will be happy to see you. I hope so. I like the art style of the characters. Uh, it's very, um... This game is very Night in the Woods, and I'm into it. Juliana really does have a, l a lot of old books. A few of them are errors, too. A very short story, which precious little happens. Oh, I love that book. 100 creative ways to find housing. I wonder if any of these still work today. And look at this. The Chero Plane Murders. I read that book in secret when I was a kid. Big mistake. I'm mad, really. Electric tastes. What are you staring at? I've been standing here for 10 minutes. One second longer and I'll be my pants. And I need to blow my nose, too. You have a nose? There's no way you guys only have normal plain almond milk. I don't believe you. Riker, you here too? Get lost, kid. And you want to come inside? The service is about to start. No. There's food and drink too. Lots of people are here. Leave me alone. Sorry, I was a little bit too close there. Okay. It's all my fault. Oh. What do you mean? I'm doing the best I can. 
I know the hospital relies on me. I'm the one who's supposed to look after it all. If the old lady hadn't got sicker, if that water damage hasn't hap had it happened, uh, if I'd just taken better care of the hospital, then maybe she wouldn't have... This is my burden to bear. I'll never forgive myself. All those people in there, I see the way they look at me. They know it's my fault. It's not your fault. I thought the same way. I was the one treating her right up until the end. I still believed she'd get better. I didn't want to face the fact that she was going to die. But in the moment that she passed, I knew she was at peace with it. She was old, and her body was weak. She was happy. She didn't want people looking after her all the time. And that's okay. I did my best, and you did too. But sometimes, things crumble and collapse anyways. Sometimes we have to say goodbye to people. Sometimes we can't help them. I'm going in now. You can come in with me if you want. I can't. I'm gonna stay right here. Okay. If you change your mind, just know that you'll be welcome. Sure, whatever. I should go. I don't want to disturb the bereaved. You should do what feels right for you. No one's forcing you to stay. Yeah, you're right. Let's go in. If we go in at the same time, they won't all be staring at me. And I can slip away quickly if I need. Sounds good. Oh. So, uh, so did you find him? Yeah, he's a janitor at the hospital. But he doesn't want to come in. I think he needs some time to himself. I think we all do. I'm glad he's here, though. Speaking of which, uh, how you holding up? Hoping. But let me know if there's anything I can do. I will, my friend. Uh, please sit down. It's about to stay. I think oak... Oat... I think... I'm assuming you were meant to say oat, not oak. What's oak milk? I, how do you milk a tree? I'm assuming you mean oat milk. Uh, I think oat milk is more popular here in the UK over almond, although it's a good normal da dairy in this house. I um, I mostly drink soy. Uh, soy, I, I do uh, soy milk. That's my that's my usual. Um, but again, it ran out. So. Squeeze the tree really hard. That's syrup. Dear guest, can I have your attention for a moment? Thank you all for coming. I can barely bring my... Oh, I can barely bring myself to speak. But last night, Emma... My dear mother... Passed away. He's... He was a real talker. Always telling stories. And she was surrounded by people who loved her. That's you guys. Thanks for all that, all of you. And when, uh, when I was little, uh, she taught me to play an instrument, and she practiced with me, and I hated every second of it. But, but when I was playing, her eyes would just light up. <laughs> I wish she could look at me that way again. I want to play 
very special song for you. The song that Emma requested every time I picked that instrument up. It was really thirsty when I had to deliver my letters. I slept on a patch of ice. My whole mailbag fell in the rivers with all my letters still in toilet. And I tore my cruciate ligament. You are not only how you fish out every single letter out of the river, but she even dried them, restored them, and delivered them to me. I'm away with my parents in a restaurant. Things have been going downhill for a while. And then Irma came up with a new dish. And Bo beat Grayton. It was a hit. And before long, it was the only dish anyone ever wanted. Irma and I used to play backgammon when you get it every Thursday in the summer. How do you know Irma Finley? I, um... I'll tell you that. I'll tell you how to squint, you Emma. He's the one who let it die. It's the truth. Emma was in great shape. And then one day she just bends over, sprains an ankle, ends up in the hospital. And a few days later, suddenly she's sick. We all sick. And then she just dies. I'm telling you, it's all that guy's fault. Him and all these staff in an awful hospital. I can hear them talking about it right now. They didn't let the hospital deteriorate. So bad the folks would go there and pick up new diseases in the wards. Emma didn't have pneumonia until they took her to that dump. I'm telling you, Emma didn't just die, she was murdered. They said her she wasn't so full, wasn't so useless, Emma was still be with her today. We'd be celebrating that morning. Everyone who works there should stand up and take blame for this. We'd all be better off if that hospital was torn down and never darkened our skyline again. Ralph, that, um... Ralph, that's a crock of nonsense. Now, hold on. Maybe he's got a point. Yeah, St. Ursula's a danger to us all. That's right. Yeah, run these murders out of town. Maybe it would be better that way. Look around you. Do you see anyone from the hospital here except this clown? Exactly. They don't even have the nerve to come to her funeral. Because they know it's their fault. Plain as the nose on your face. What? Quiet, everyone. Please! This isn't about pointing the finger at anyone. This isn't about St. Ursula's. It's about Irma, my mother, your friend. Finley? Yeah? I'm sorry to have to ask you for this. Perhaps it would be best if you leave. What? Please, I don't want this argument to ruin Lou. Emma's memorial. I'll make it up to you, I promise. Let's talk later. Okay. Well, that didn't go how I expected. Looks like my cell phone had no reception at Gilbert's. 
Me and Carl both tried to call me. Alexa, flip a coin. Okay. Hey, Finley. I'm starting to get worried. What's up? Want to take your mind off things? Maybe grab a beer somewhere? You can talk if you want. Yeah, I might take you up on that. What were you thinking? Why don't you come pick it any, pick me up on High Street in a little while? Cool. I need to get out of here anyways. Let's do it then. I'll wait outside. Hope your evening went better than mine. Man. Oh, wait. I think I went the wrong way. <laughs> Excuse me. Do you like... Do you guys like Carl more than... Uh, what's her name? Mia? I had a friend named Mia in uh, high school, and she used to be uh, one of the funniest people that I knew. She, she would just she would just crack me up. Um, she would just crack me up all the time. I like Carl more, though. I think. Carl's cool. I have a friend named Carlos, too. Carlos is a cool name. Like, with a K. Yeah, like... You said High Street, right? I was just on High Street. Hey, Jim, how you doing? Here, let me do a little bit of this. I did want to do garlic. Hey, Carl. There you are. Wait, weren't you meant to be at work? I was. Dr. Theobald let me, left er let me leave early. Wow, that doesn't happen often. I went to Irma's funeral, uh, funeral service. Hey, right, so... I know this sounds awful... But I couldn't go. I wanted to. I got myself ready, and I was just about to head out the door, but my leg stopped working. I just wouldn't move. But I'll visit her in Glow Milk Woods. How was it? There's an argument. People said it was my fault Irma died. What? It's insane! Who said that? Ralph overheard us talking. Us? Me and Gregor. Gregor blames himself for Irma's death. You know, as of the water pipe and all that. Oh, man. Ralph was really angry. And eventually, the others started getting fired up, too. That miserable scumbag. Cheer up, Finley. Don't take it so hard. You know what really happened? You know what really happened. After a day like that, you deserve a break. I already guessed that Gilbert's would be closed today, so I brought my very own home-brewed beer with me. You brew your own beer? Of course. I have many, many hobbies. And where are we headed? To Gilbert's. But I thought... You'll see. I got an idea. <laughs> Uh, my sage is... Ooh, sage might be great. I don't use sage. She's, uh, just outside. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. 
so I'm growing thyme and uh, basil right now because I use those a lot. I use basil on basically everything, and then thyme I use on specifically steaks. Um, but I, I would love to get some oregano maybe. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, something else. I don't know. I'd love to get get a couple more, but I don't know what I'd do. I, I don't use enough, you know? I was thinking about doing garlic. Growing plants? Yeah. I was thinking about growing some garlic. Um, but it's like it's one of the it's like a root. And like I don't really have a lot of yard for that. Um so I don't know. But I definitely like I use a lot of garlic. I like garlic. Alright, here we are. Doesn't look like there's anyone else around. Just like I expected. After a funeral, people usually head to Glow Milk Woods together. They take the memorial figurine to its new home. But what now? Wait here, let me get the key. You have a key? You can grow them in a, in a pot, but wouldn't that be like one at a time? How you doing, Jormac? That's the key? Yep. The key to our very own private roof, uh, roof terrace. Are you serious? Of course I am. You think I'd run all the way here for a joke? Come on, it'll be fun. You went to Old Irma's funeral service today, right? How was it? We already talked about this. We had a conversation. It was, uh, nice. Hard, though. Sounds like a funeral worthy of a movie. I know you like the old lady, but it's the same for all of us. I've known her since I was a kid. She was already pretty old back then. And Giuliano has always been like a big brother to me. He looked after me sometimes, after school. Uh... Kind of weird that we still hang out so much. We used to still hang out. What the fuck? I think I read that wrong. I like the old slugger. But I like the old slugger. Just as much as I liked Irma. He looked after me sometimes, too. Giuliano uh, was out of town a lot. Sometimes for weeks at a time. Uh, so she would tell me stories. Great times. Yeah. <laughs> I got to hear a few of her stories, too. Really? I had no idea. Did she tell you the one about the soup gnome? Or the great sugar quake? No, I never heard those ones. That's all right. I can tell you them sometime. You know, all her stories by heart. Like I was there myself. Oh, that'd be great. Thank you. There's a good idea coming up here. Look at the sky. The snow keeps the beer nice and cold. Sometimes I don't actually feel cold at all. Well, you're filled with fur, but... Yeah, it's nice here. Thanks for inviting me. Hey, no biggie. Just figured you need to pay a little pick-me-up. Cheering people up is my specialty. Yeah, I'll be sure to give you a good review. Uh, it's time to face facts. We got a problem here. Yeah, enough chit-chat. Finley, I like you a lot. But when times get tough, it's every man for himself. Behold, the last beer. The last beer. So what are we gonna do? Hey, Fred, how you doing? There's no sugar coating it. Agreed. How is uh, Mars First Logic or whatever it's called? Well, it's that then. We decide this here and now. You or me. There's only one way to settle a matter of such grave importance. Same way our fathers did. And then their fathers before them. We duke it out. Mano a mano. Bring it on. Carl, what, Carl has challenged you to a snowball fight. I'll figure it out. <laughs> you got little helmets. Oh, it's like that one bow and arrow game. Do you guys have you guys ever played that one bow and arrow game? You know the one. Wow.
Fuck. I need to do that same exact thing. Oh, well, now they're gonna move. Aha! Is it just worms? It is kind of like worms. Shell Shock Live. Well, it's like it's like that one bow and arrow game, the Flash game. Does anybody know of that game? I'm sure, I could still find it somewhere. It was pretty popular. gonna hit me. No, I'm good. Too much oomph. This is like gorillas on DOS. If you Google it, it's this type of game has been around since basic computers. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, if you think about it, it's a super simple concept, right? You've earned it. I'm honored. You're a worthy adversary. I'll get you back next time, but I lost. Hey, you too. Juliano, up here, pal. Uh, Juliano, up here, pal. You got some beer left. How did you get up there in the first place? You want to come inside? No, we didn't. Get your butt up here. Peace. Where have you been? I was with the mourners in Glow Milk Woods. We put up my mother's memorial figurine. We found a real nice spot. I like it there. I love you too, Fred. It's been too long. We need to do something one uh, one of one of these days soon. Hey, Giuliano. Uh. I'm sorry. Sorry about what happened at the funeral service today. And then Irma passed away. I would have loved to have met her outside of the hospital. Only knew her for a few days, but I was really fond of her. I'm gonna miss her. Emily, you did nothing wrong. It's me who should be apologizing. I wasn't there when...
They've been trying to hide away from it all. I was scared. <sighs> scared of that one call. Seeing the hospital's name pop up on my caller ID. I just couldn't bring myself to go to the hospital. I couldn't be there for her. I left her all on her own. And that breaks my heart. Thanks for being there for her family. Thanks for making sure she wasn't alone. You know the night she died, she told me a story. Hi, Sheena. How are you? It was about the hibernation festival. She was hoping that's where you were. Having a great time with all the people in Porcupine. That you'd associate the night she died with a positive memory. And that you'd remember all the hibernation festivals you celebrated together. When she was still in good health and happy. And that the last time you spoke to her wouldn't it wouldn't be the end. I'm good, Sheena. Playing a sad game. But I'm, I'm good. She wanted you to remember her as she was. At the Hibernation Festival. Thank you for telling me that. Oh, yeah. It means a lot to me. These last few days have been exhausting. I'm so tired, I could just pass out. Or I'll stop screaming. No, you're good. Don't worry about it. Is there anything else we could do for you, buddy? I like it. I miss you, Sheena. No, it's okay. I just need some sleep. Uh, I need to get to Gilbert's once again. Hope you guys just start to come and see me plenty. Definitely can't handle sad games right now, so I'm gonna head out. I love you, friend. I love you too, Sheena. I'm sorry. You have a nice night. Uh, you're 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 a good egg. A good bean, and I love you, and I miss you, and, and we'll have to catch up soon as well. Oh, for sure. If it wasn't for you, there'd be no fun in this town at all. You know, you build a rooftop terrace up here in the summer. Just picture it. I spend every minute of every day here. Old wine in the winter. Cocktails in summer. It'd be awesome. Yeah. I could do that, you know? Night, guys. And, uh, take care of getting down. Oh, we'll come with you. No, 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 we'll come with you now. The sense of freedom up here is great and all, but, uh... I'm starting to shiver my toes off. You don't... You're a goat. You don't have toes. Uh, same here. I'm glad we got a chance to talk. Me too, my friend. Man, it's crazy that the captions uh, can keep up with, like, all my uh, stupid voices that I do. Can't wait to get a good night's sleep. We'll see what's up with that uh, next time on Dragon Ball Z. Uh, my stream deck exploded, so I got to go manually do this. Hang on. Okay.